Hello, everyone. I'm Danny De Heck. It's five o'clock in the morning, and I've got up um, to gate crash a Zoom meeting about um, is it Ultron. So we're just going to tune into the uh, Zoom. I don't know anything about this really, other than I know a couple of investors that are not happy and their money's all frozen, and this young guy is one of those guys that drives around in the Ferraris. So let's just get into it. Uh, I'm just We're just going to great crash into the Zoom meeting and listen and learn and see whether we can figure out whether it's a scam or the real deal. I'm half asleep. I'm not awake. But by all means, uh, tune in with me and let's see what we can find out. Now, uh, <coughs> so basically, the coins that you will receive uh, and the rest will be burned, which will move out of circulation, will move forever out of circulation, reducing the supply, helping the project. So you can free to do so, and you can uh, free to burn these coins and claim what is not burned, okay? And uh, and all fun. Uh, it, 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 it's, all, it's all your choice. You can choose to do it. You can choose to keep the coins. Uh, and to not to burn and not to burn the coins now let me show you here uh first of all is everyone here understands what i just show you the formula not everyone really. understands mm -hmm. the Play formula again, please. put in yes in the chat if you understand the formula how this number is being calculated okay uh i showed you how this number is being calculated exactly I showed you how this number has been calculated. So the, this number is uh, all the compounding, the 30% on locking, okay? And how this 30% on locking has been calculated. We divided by the total stake, we multiplied by the dollar cap value that you read on the blockchain, and we divided by the 40 days rolling average, and we see this number, okay? So you follow? Uh, this this is the formula how it's been calculated. It's very simple. So if you ever want to explain it to somebody how the formula has been calculated, this is how it's been calculated. Okay. Now, what uh, what is the logic behind all of this? You know why all of this works this way, uh, the way that it works, and, and why it's so good and so beneficial for everyone in the community i'm going to share with you uh, i'm going to share with you uh, 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 the following document and uh, you'll understand so exactly the guy that's talking so, um let's see we have here okay everybody this, this guy here screen. so i'll use the example of five thousand dollars so five thousand dollar nft at one penny Price, let's say if you are one of the lucky ones, if you are one of the lucky ones that bought at one penny, okay, then you'll have 500,000 ULX base stake. Within five years, it will grow uh, to 2 million uh, coins. It will grow to by 300% approximately, is 2 million ULX coins, okay? There will be no dollar cap, there will be no burning. Okay, so you'll be able to access to all of the total stake right here, everything. So if the price of the ULX will be $1, that means you'll have $2 million of value. And by the time the ecosystem in the five years can expand to hundreds of applications, native applications, third-party applications, a lot more liquidity, a lot more partners. So there should be enough liquidity for you to cash out two million dollars now beautiful okay uh if it's 10 cents still you are two hundred thousand dollars right uh if it's 50 cents you are at one million dollars it's amazing amazing returns right uh if you claim every day every week there'll be some burning happening dollar cap apply so you're gonna get approximately ten thousand dollars now it's an approximation but let's say you're going to get approximately $10,000 if you cash. All these um, uh, systems you promise you so much, don't they? All, the time. Uh, all of your awards. So in these five years, you basically can double your money from $5,000 uh, to $10,000. Okay. 
Now, it's up to you. Do you want to double your money or do you want to 100x your money? It, it, oh, it's up to God. you what you want to do, right? Um, but here is the logic, you know, if, if you if you are diamond hands, okay, and you enjoy the whole five years, there's going to be no dollar cap, there's going to be no burning, and you use all of the coins, okay? So you'll use, you'll use all of the coins. <laughs> so in this example, uh, 150,000 new Alex unlocked, about $1,500, approximate approximation. Yeah, just hope you understand. You know the exact formula. Uh, but here you have uh, 140,000 ULX burn and 10,000 available. I just, I'm glazing it, over. Zero. I don't know what I'm trying to teach you guys here. Profiting from it. Community is profiting, profiting from it 100%, not the company. This These coins are being burned, okay? They're not something that is being used by the company. We have, as you got burned. people in the audience now, who are going to ask is made questions by law, because they can't get their money out. Uh, that in order to make money so, in crypto, you want to buy low. So the question and answer is going to be the fun part of all this. This is obviously the sales pitch. I don't follow it. But once a week, this um, Zoom meeting happens. It's since why I've got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm half asleep. They're selling low and they're panicking. And this is exactly the opposite of uh, what you need to be doing in order to be profitable and successful. Okay? Um, so this maximum supply that you see, $50 billion, will never, ever, ever, ever is going to be ever, ever, billion. ever because of the constant burning 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 that uh, is happening all the time mm. okay uh and uh, and because of that there'll never be 50 billion will never be anything close to 50 billion uh with all of the burning happening over uh, over the years now you can see that there was great opportunity was to buy when the exchange uh, listing was just launched when it uh, uh, dipped to six cents, it went to 18 cents, 300 percent was great. Uh, then the first unlocking happened, people panicked, and some people like were very afraid. What was going to happen when the ULX price is going to be, uh, you know, when, when people will get access to all of the coins? This is quite boring. Uh, at Hurry one up. penny into the exciting stuff. Question and answers. And yeah. up to eight. 0.5 cents. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Danny DeHeck, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Um, so, by all means, uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Um, what I'm trying to do is name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. Now, I don't know anything about this guy. This is the first time I've actually seen him. So, if you do know something about him, by all means, go to my website. You can submit information anonymously. I don't know whether this guy's running a scam or not. I just think anything that's got crypto, anything that's got a reward system or a membership, and obviously anything that sounds too good to be true is a scam, those three things. Um, so if you know any information about this company or this guy, uh, please do submit it to me. I'm um, currently, um, I do have a small database about him. I've set up a profile about him. Um, I just know his Instagram. His website, his LinkedIn, and that's about it. So I want information about him. I want to find out who he is. I want to find out what he pushes along the way. Uh, this is the company um, that he's pushing at the moment and literally uh, been tipped off about this guy. Somebody's got their money invested. They can't get their money out. Uh, the, the support keeps hanging up on them. They don't answer the questions, and they're not happy. Um, about what's happening and they've asked me to have a look at it so at the moment this is just a reconnaissance run trying to find out information about this um, so I'm asking for your help if you know anything do let me know and we'll find out more about this guy so far his lifestyle looks pretty cool um, looks like he's um, living the life of Riley so he obviously another glitz and glamour person driving around and sports cars and, and the like yeah. nice looking ladies in his life um all of a sudden i want to invest so i can meet a lady like that you know what i'm saying that's what they're all trying to sell to you isn't it how much percentage is this 300 percent okay 300 percent now you multiply 300 percent by 20 million dollars okay 300 percent by 20 million dollars how much is that how much is that 60 million dollars 
So $60 million worth of ULX at the price of 10 cents, for example, being unlocked to people. The so we have some Avengers in the audience who are hopefully going to ask some decent questions. The point even started trading on the open market. Okay. What do you think will happen if $60 million uh, will, with the liquidity of, uh, with the liquidity of uh, 3 million, uh, if you combine, you know, the, the, the ULX USDT on Pancake Swap, on, on Ultron Swap, what do you think will happen to the price? Oh, everyone wants to make lots of money, mate. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to miss out, they don't get in cents quick. Will be unlocked to people in their world. <sighs> And they want to cash out their sixty million dollars. What do you think will happen to the price? Oh, it will just go up. Is that what you want us to say? You don't need to be a genius. Oh, it's not rocket science. You don't need it's to be a genius science. to understand very simple math that sixty mm. million dollars worth of value will never be worth sixty million dollars. Oh God! Because the coin is going to drop back to one cent or even below one cent below one cent if we have all this panic i mean when the sell is going to start it's going to cause even more and more and more selling and will be below one day now let's say you're a long-term investor you're long-term holder you believe in the project which all of you guys oh yeah it's like me this. uh is you that know, you uh, Do you want to be a long-term investor? It means that they take a long... You bought... Your they have your money for a long time. At 10 cents or 12 cents. I'm not very funny. It's 5 o'clock okay. in the morning. You bought your NFT at 10 cents. Ooh! And NFT now is the price of good the terminology. is one thing. Like it's right, right are board, you happy or are you sad? I'm <laughs> sad. I'm always sad. Right? Let, let's say that well, even, even, if, even if you are the one person that you want to cash out all the amazing profits from Ultron in this Ultron. first uh, stage of the first year of operation, you want to cash out all the profit, but you cannot because the price is below one thing. Okay. Are you happy or are you sad? I'm sad, mate. You tell me. I'm if sad. there was no tell dollar you. cap and there is no uh there is no dollar cap and there is no burning which no burning, no help in the community all the coins go and sold on the market yeah and the price goes below penny are you happy or are you are you sad i'm sad <laughs> sad happy faith good you point know, mate I, I i already Craig know goes wild. the answer that you'll be very sad if the coin below penny you'll be very sad mm -hmm. okay and all of the long-term investors in the projects, I need coffee. Uh, they'll be very, very sad and very disappointed. And guys, it is not sustainable. Oh, right? Could I have a sustainable uh, the people scheme? People were uh, withdrawing profits in the first months, or let's say. Mm. <coughs> it's uh, got the Sam Lee's cough. Going, oh, there's uh, this car. Between, He's looking successful. Between, uh, oh, let's say, show uh, when you August, can, mate. I would say and december mm -hmm. do you know that people that were there were withdrawing at the rate of about 50 percent per month wow before the the before these mechanisms were in place people were withdrawing at the rate of 50 percent per month do you 50, think that 50 percent per month is sustainable or not sustainable what do you think oh i don't care mate <laughs> i just want to find out whether you're running a scam or not, or not sustainable I think again, it, it doesn't take to be a genius no. to understand that fifty percent oh, a month is not sustainable, uh, and that's what people were withdrawing. They were withdrawing at the rate of fifty percent per right. month. How much per month? Fifty percent. Uh, so fifty percent per month. So this dollar cap value is such an amazing way how to yeah, ensure amazing. that Getting everyone quick. in the ecosystem is happy the people that want to cash out now, so ultron um launched last august i'll just give you some facts uh they told people it was a five-year staking plan every year they would release people's tokens so in august they should have released 30 percent of your stake tokens 
They said uh, they were going to give them on the 17th of October and only a few people received them. Then they announced that the, they are burning half of the tokens that they supposed to give um, then they will keep two-thirds of the tokens. So if you were owed 12,000 tokens, you could only receive 900 UOX. So over 1,100, they were burning. Daylight robbery. I don't understand it, but if you were a crypto person, you probably will. In addition, they did not have a real smart contract. They have manipulated the price. The price went from 0.19 to 0.85, almost half within two weeks of the tokens being distributed. When you ask the leaders for help, they kick you out of the groups and don't help you at all. Um, all Ultron groups on social media are muted so people can't leave comments. Big red flag. Um, support, just say technical issues. If you try to talk in the Zoom during the... Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got some unhappy punters in this room. And he's going to ask people to ask questions. This is one of the only places you can get to ask questions. And we're broadcasting. So if you so let's say they've got a happy client on, base. Uh, you'll have 107%, then 199% second year, 258% third year, 293%, and then 311%. Okay? If you auto stick off, you'll get 36% first year, 18%, oh, 9%, 4.5%, 2.25%. Circle it, mate. Keep so you're circling have it. a total of 70%. Ooh, ooh. Okay? Mm. 70% total. Uh, compared to this, and you burn a lot of coins in the process as well. Burning coins. Uh, I think they burn coins to so, um, make them more scarce and increase the yeah, value. Yeah, uh, this is I just think. an example. Don't ask me, I don't know anything. You, the 0.2% daily after 365 days, unlocking starts, uh, let's say a thousand ULX. Is I know who you are. I know what you have done. And if you're thinking of escaping with people's investments, I can assure you, there's nowhere you can hide. What I possess is a specific set of skills That's right. honed over a lifetime of unravelling financial deceit. John Blakely. Skills oh that make me a living nightmare for fraudsters like you. Oh, I've got to stop there. I know who you oh, are. Gonna shut up I know what you have oh, done. It's playing up. Now, I just saw John so Blakely. Name. What will happen I'm going to miss John. <laughs> is that the available state, the available state here. If you don't know John, he was arrested for um, crypto fraud in Thailand for 125 million. These two numbers, available stake and total stake, are going to be equal. And I have his phone number. And at this point, John. you can withdraw all Let's of see the if coins he's without in any burn. Okay, so um, now let's do some Q&A. Ooh, this will be good. <laughs> let's go. Uh, we covered a lot of ground today. We did it in one hour, a little more, more than one hour. It's very good. If you have any questions, you can raise your hand and uh, or you can type it in the chat. Well, let's do a little Q&A right now. I've just missed John. Okay. Hi, Bertley. Yes. From Susan. Adi, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to all of this. Um, yeah. First of all, and I'm sure you've heard from many, um, I haven't, I'm still waiting for my uh, tokens. Um, support have said they've got technical issues. I just wondered if you knew what the technical issues were. Uh, you mean which coins you're waiting for? Uh, the 30% stake coins. That you unlocked? Yeah. No, that we're waiting for. You know the 30% that they should have ah, dropped it, it, into, it, it yeah, for us zero, to claim. It shows in zero in your uh, in your uh, back office? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, for some reason, uh, some people experience that. Uh, the the team is looking into that. I know, um, and it will be sold uh, very soon. So yeah, I have I have been writing. They they have they have been actually, replying. It's actually more of a display issue than the, the actual uh, thing. Everything is on the blockchain. So uh, what Mavi you see in the back office is just the user interface. It is like a, uh, you know, it's like a connection uh, via the API and stuff uh, to the blockchain. So uh, everything is on the blockchain. It's just yes. a, a, a visibility, like user interface uh, issue. So that's uh, what they are solving right now. Okay, no, that's fine. I appreciate that. And I'm glad you mentioned about the, the blockchain. I just want to ask you, where can we see the smart contract on the blockchain? Um, <laughs> sorry, question. I'm a little bit rusty at the moment. Smart contract of what? Where, yeah, where can we see the smart contract for the ULX and the NFTs? I'm going to message that lady and see whether she wants to um, talk to me after. Uh, You're saying it's on the blockchain. I'm just wondering, yeah. How how is it controlled? Where do we see it? Yeah, you can click on this uh, 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 right here on the top right side on this wallet, and you'll see yeah. uh, where your NFTs are located under ULC seventy one standard. You can see the 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 NFT uh, your ID of the NFT that is being minted. So this is on the blockchain. You can see on ULXCan.com. It's on the blockchain. But is there a contract address for each one? Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. I mean, the you don't see the contract address uh, directly here because uh, it's an NFT that is being minted. Uh, you know, it's an NFT. But you can we, see, you can yeah. see transaction hash. This is the transaction hash of of this transaction of the minting of the minting of, of the NFT. This is the transaction hash. So we can't actually track it on the blockchain. No, it, it, there is a transaction. This this is a transaction detail of mint. Right. You can see mint one NFT, mint one million two hundred fifty thousand ULX. This is the transaction on the blockchain. This is it. This is the transaction. This is the fee paid zero point zero zero eight ULX paid for this transaction. Okay. And this appears in this block, so it is on the blockchain. But why do they refer to order number and a number of the NFT? Because if it's on the blockchain, it would have a contract address. You wouldn't this, need this to refer to it. This, this is Sorry. Zero X yeah. one three. This is the contract address. This is the contract address. That's for the ULX coin, is it? Okay, it's fine. I'll have another look at that. You can see. You can see there is uh, uh, this contract has nine million three hundred twenty one thousand transactions. And uh, it is nesting uh, all of these NFTs, like 1,943 NFTs. Uh, you, so you know, know it was, more about Yeah, this. I just got confused as to why they've got a token ID and a order number, you know, because normal normal NFTs don't have that, right, when, you, when they're on a smart contract. So that's why I was just querying that. The, the ID, the ID is there. It's part of uh, the attributes of the NFT. Each NFT has attributes. And uh, <laughs> uh, part of the attributes is the order ID and the ID of the NFT. It's part of the attributes of uh, this NFT that uh, is uh, on the blockchain. That's, okay. how we, that's how we can uh, retrieve the data. For this NFT from the blockchain. Okay, that's fine. I'll have another look at that. Sorry. Then, just lastly, I absolutely hear what you're saying about the burning and about everything. But what's going to happen in four years' time when everybody wants to withdraw and there's only a three million liquidity, uh, and you've got billions and billions of tokens to be cashed out? What's going to happen then? If we're going to uh, have that issue now? First of all, there will be not. Three million dollar liquidity. There will be much, much more liquidity uh, because uh, liquidity uh, will be added uh, also by the community, also by the million. different uh, uh, funds. We have uh, hedge funds that uh, are willing to give 
you know, millions and tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars of liquidity, but we don't allow them to. We don't want them to. Uh, mm. Why? Why? Because very simple reason. Uh, this liquidity, like I shared in earlier, is super shows you Carrigan, mate. For uh, how the mechanics of the price works. You see, if we allow right now fifty million dollars of liquidity here to be locked. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so, so hard for the price of your legs to climb up. It's going to be, it's going to be a, like a snake. Like it, it's going to be so, so slow in rising. And that doesn't excite anyone. <laughs> you know, yeah. you don't want to, you, you don't want to see the price climbing uh, by 1% in five months. You know, no, nobody, nobody likes that. No, nobody wants that. In the crypto mm -hmm. and the liquidity plays if a you know very, anything fishy very about this, crucial please to provide it to me in a, how i'm going to open up a zoom meeting after this and anyone uh, who's watching my live can is, come in here and discuss what they're okay. listening to because so, i uh, yeah. i don't follow so that's this. one of the reason that uh, uh, they say no to to this uh, big liquidity providers because um uh, you know it will not be beneficial at the current stage of the growth of the pro uh, pro project when we are 130,000 users we are not into tens of millions of users we are in the very early stage of the project tag man in the room 130,000 <laughs> unique users okay and for that, this reason there is no need for such a liquidity but uh, one one thing as the community grows as this grows liquidity will be added that's one thing another thing is that uh, the amount of applications will go up and with the amount the of applications sure the amount of users will go up so the goal is within five years to have 100 million users there is a huge difference between 100,000 users and 100 million users it's absolutely massive difference. Do you think with so many users that, that have using a hundreds of applications, do you think they will not be buying the coin and, you know, and, and, and participate in, in buying the coin? Because the coin is going to be in a much more demand if we have hundreds of applications and millions and millions and millions of users, what will happen to the price of ULX? Uh, go up. It, will, it will go up. And as it will go it is up, going up when you talk to you know, guys. there'll be more making sense. Right, let's cause some disruption. Let's go into the Zoom the meeting. Institutional money let's get a couple of more curly questions going, eh? To add liquidity to here because it's not such an early stage project anymore. It's millions and millions and millions of users, right? So, yeah. So because of this reason, after five years, that's the plan. The people mm. that lock all of their coins... Okay, there already will be enough liquidity mm -hmm. in the market because of these millions of users and the coin price will be much higher. So I would say like this, look, you need to, you need to look at this like this. I'll, I'll put in the monthly chart. Okay, oh, I love these and charts. let's uh, scale it up a little bit. And let's say in five years, if anyone's smelling bullshit, please let me know in the chat room dollars. and... Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I can literally get people now, in this room right. to ask questions. There's going to be already uh, 20 million users, 30 million users. The price is $10. Yeah. Now, unlock starts to happen for people who are patient after five years. Oh, okay. if you're not patient. Uh, five years, 60 months. So after 60 months like this, okay, unlock hate happens. Every and other guess what? Bitcoin. The price will go down. Uh, because yeah, every other cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin, profits, I'll be honest. Uh, during this time, the first adapters right so the price may be dropped first. from ten dollars to one hundred three dollars mm -hmm. it can happen it can happen easily yeah but we are right now at 12 cents and some people bought at one cent and let's say it drops from ten dollars are you $3. in the room george george okay. is one of our avengers <laughs> they still made a lot a lot a lot of money Mm. a lot of money yeah 
Yeah, I, no, I, I understand that. And thank you for explaining that so well. Um, yeah, I think it's just that the the, the people that, you know, uh, unstaked now after the first uh, year, um, and uh, I have, there are a few others that um, also don't have their tokens. And the other thing is, um, you know, they, you know, obviously I guess everyone gets concerned. Um, and the fact that, there is such a lot of burning, right? Um, and that people are getting such a small amount of tokens that they originally expected to. Um, so, yeah, I get what you're saying, but I think it's it's a confidence thing, isn't it? Um, for well, people they, to they believe. Should, they should be yeah. more confident that the company is protecting the, the community. Uh, like I explained before, if they didn't have this and allow all people to withdraw all their coins, there is no chance you'll be able to sell these coins at 10 cents. No way. Yeah, but then but then why did they have this as a plan? Do you, do you see where I'm getting where I'm going? Why why have it as a plan where people can unstake and you know and cash out if they want to, if it's obviously not what the company wants? No, there is a mm. plan if they if they wait for the ecosystem to mature within mm. five years. Yeah, they can unlock with no burning. But right now is very, very early stage. You need to understand Everything's early the, stage. the company is building only for like a year and, and three months. It's very, very you need early to understand stage of the company. It's very Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Yeah, I think people, you know what people are like, they just want to try and see, okay, let's see what happens after the first year. Does everything go as the company promised? Yes, no. Then they make their decision, right? If everybody's happy, happy. I mean, I never thought of cashing out any tokens. I was going to put it straight back in. But um, mine were due on the 4th of August, and I'm obviously still waiting. Um, and, yeah, I've got no idea when I will get mine. Um, so, obviously, I'm personally now in the position where, yeah, I will sell them when I get them because I want to just see – literally how the process works and i do i do appreciate that i will get next to nothing for them but it's now become a matter of principle do you understand so yeah I, anyway I, 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 sorry I appreciate, I appreciate your comments but like i said before you know when people also uh put a comment why not give people the option and uh, once again I, if i need to repeat a hundred times i'll repeat a hundred times if yeah got the option to withdraw all of these coins at 300 percent profit at such an early stage then they will still not get this 300 percent profit no close. Uh, of, they, of course they, not yes. they, will, they will get they will get uh, they will get the same amount or even much less amount that they that they would be getting now hey george is the in same here or hey, less. george and they'll piss everybody off Everybody will be sad. Everybody will be pissed off, you know. So what? What good is this? So well, people, and yeah, people will get exactly the same dollar value, even less than that, while pissing off everyone. So they accomplish zero with that. <laughs> well, exactly because this is what I'm thinking now. Why did I buy hubs? I could have just gone to the decks and bought it when it went up to 19 cents, you know, I would have made good profit and sold or whatever, or kept it nobody, still, nobody obviously. Nobody could buy the coins at one penny. Nobody. Sorry? Nobody could buy the coins at one penny. At one penny? Nobody. No, well, I bought some at one penny, right? You um, didn't buy at one penny. You didn't buy. I you, did. You minted the NFT. You minted the NFT at one penny, but the coin was not trading at one penny. What was it? When? What was it? The the moment it was deployed, it was already three cents. <laughs> it was, no, it no, was, no. I bought it one cent. Three cents without before you start blinking your eyes. It was already at three cents. Yeah, I know. But but what I'm saying is, so what? But what I'm saying is, had I just gone and bought at the decks, even if it was three cents or five cents, I would have been much better off than I am now trying to get my tokens and then you know if i do try if i do sell them uh for what i'm gonna get i would have been much if, better just to if, if you, you know think, 
if you they think like short term, people, don't they? if you think short term, yes. If you think long term, no. Oh, no, but you. it's the confidence thing, rightly. That's what I'm saying to you. Do, do you understand? Doing a good job, um, Susan. You know, I, 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 I did bring in quite a few people. Some of them put in a lot of money. They're sitting now with without tokens, and of course, so people are saying, "Look, you know what's going on? So Why are they not honouring?" Recording. Send them this recording. Get them. Get their content. We've done that. Support have replied every other day. They reply, and they just keep saying it's a technical issue. It's a technical issue, and we're still waiting. Go, Susan. So you know. So I think that's the thing. It's it's a question of honouring. Let, let, let her off, mate. Other people to ask some questions. Also. Oh, okay. answer but I the mean, question. You know, I agree, and I just wanted to say thank you to you. Um, you've you know you've been doing this day uh, week in and week out on a Wednesday since last year, um, and without fail. And uh, you know, here. thank you for addressing my concerns because I, I would just like to point out and um, good, Susan. Go, Susan. that you know I have mentioned it in a couple of the groups and. What do the leaders do there? They block you. They block you just for asking a question like, when are the tokens due? You, Things Anne. like that. And, uh, and um, I will great. name Mansa because he's he is the biggest cause of it. Um, and, you know, and I just find it totally unfair. Uh, um, you know, you've got people that want questions and they want answers. Not everybody can make your masterclass. Um, so, you know, thank you to you. Uh, for being respectful and <laughs> taking the time to talk to me. Um, but, you know, um, I've been blocked from Mensa's group, uh, even in my private chat, he's deleted all our messages. I was never unkind. I was never rude. I just asked a simple question. And I think, you I'll, know. I'll, I'll try to talk to Mensa. To, to yeah, please. That. Because do you know what? When leaders carry on like that, um, you know, even sort of, and I think I'm about three or four from Mensa. Um, you know, it does. It, it it actually annoys you because we bring in people and uh, with good intentions. And at the end of the day, it's people's hard earned right, money, right? And uh, I'm the kind of leader that I do. Yes, maybe I do hold people's hand a bit much, but I care, you know. And if people have a problem, I get back with them and I make sure that that problem gets solved for them, uh, yeah. no matter how much time, you know, it takes me. So, um, yeah, so that, that is a big problem that they are, they're making themselves unreachable. And then you're going to find that you're going to be sitting with questions like this when actually, you know, you shouldn't really be, be addressing, you know. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you yeah. For okay. So thank you very much, Fatali. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have a, a couple more hands here. So uh, I want to have Anthony go next. Anthony, what's going on? But right, we've done our duty. Hey, questions. everybody. Glad to see you here. Thank you, Vitaly. And oh, by the way, congratulations on your achievement of uh, Crown Diamond. Thank you. Thank you. Also, and uh, what I really wanted to get on here and actually speak about is I'm glad that Susan brought a lot of those things to the attention because I think that a lot of us don't realize what a great opportunity we really do have here with Mavi because. First of all, I live between five different countries and travel the world quite consistently and toggle between several different industries from mining to a number of different things. But more importantly, I think a lot of people fail to realize that I originally was born in the United States. And I know what the truth of, of it is because most countries follow the line of the United States. So I know one... A lot of people do not. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to have a Zoom after this because that lady is actually, I've just messaged her and she's going to come onto my Zoom and discuss actually what happened. And near the end of this meeting, I'm going to drop the link that this has been broadcasted live and then I'm going to see if anyone will follow us into my um, onto my YouTube channel and obviously join us potentially in our own Zoom afterwards. So if you want to do that, um, I'll drop the Zoom link for and my for meeting Ultron after this one's finished. To create a partnership like the one that they have and say, hey, we're actually creating the staking hub. That's more for like your retirement funding. The daily cash flow is going to be your lotto day and your payment hubs that are coming. They're already answering all of your questions and your problems, and they're doing it in a shorter period of time than anyone else in the world. 
Exactly. Sure. It's 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 a five five years is a long time or a short time. It depends how you look at it. If you look at the pension funds, it's super super short time. <laughs> it's extremely so short, and you're talking about a lot of people who have actually gotten. I myself, I'm currently 57 years of age, so it took me 55 and a half years to get into the position that I'm in right now in life. And then Mavi came on the scene about 15, 16 months ago. I miss it, Gene. And they Susan, give me yeah. an opportunity to change my life. And then I'm upset with them because they're not changing my life in one year when I actually took 55 and a half years of it to get to where I'm at. That really doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. Really think people you are here with a chance over the next five years to not only help yourself, but help your family, your friends, your siblings, everyone that comes within three feet of you to be able to make a change for themselves. And the greater you build this community, the greater the DApps will be, the greater the possibilities will be for you to be able to have the true success that you want to have. Anyone who actually I'm has a job that knows that the truth of it is, if I start that job and I start putting money in my 401k or anything like that, I don't know how it works in every other place, but I can tell you right now in America, if you take that money out within one year, they're going to take 50% of it off the top and then be charged 100% taxation for you taking that money which means you're going to take your money and you're going to owe money. So even for the people who are getting the burn and getting their coin at about 10, maybe 20% of it, but burning the 80 to 90%, they're still winning with us even when they're actually paying the penalty. In America, you end up owing money if you take that money in one year. So... You, you brought a great point that uh, the people, uh, the only people who are kind of not understanding uh, the, the big picture is they they want to get rich overnight. They want to get rich in a, in a very fast way. They, they want to multiply their money very fast, you know. So like uh, one year is not so much of a time. So uh, people like, hey, I want I want to get my. 300 percent um, i want to get my 300 percent really now uh one so year later i want to triple my money one because year later and that's the mentality of you know i want to get rich quicker i want to you know that type of stuff but understand that this company is building a very solid foundation for many years to come and uh they build the whole system Right, to uh, to to, to ensure the that this project is sustainable, this project is uh, for the long term and right. benefit, and and, uh, and uh, you know it's it's, it's it's brilliantly designed so that uh, people that give them time five years, five years, yeah, it's not maybe so long time, but in crypto five years you can build a lot of stuff in five years uh you can you can have a lot of cool things uh you know in the market look at what happened to um ethereum in five years how many applications they built by the smart chain in five years they didn't build it in one year but certainly in five in five they built some cool stuff so um that's that that's the brilliance of this Check. Not to mention Check. the fact that yeah. because of the partnership yeah, between so Altron and Mavi, if you actually need money, money now, build a community. He's, he's been asking you can actually money. make, we don't limit the amount of money that can be made if you're actually introducing people to what it is that we do. And you're helping them to be able to see that there is a better way in the aspect of creating wealth and a legacy that can Rob, continue to change your family from this point <laughs> forward, from generation to generation. No one in the history of the world has done that in one year. Not Howard Hughes, not the people who started Apple, not the people who started oh, Microsoft, the scams not the I've people who started any I type of insurance speech, company. Man. None of those people had oh. the results that people are asking us to give them in one year. No one, no one has ever done that. So please, people, listen very carefully and watch what people do, not what, yeah, what they yeah. say. 
Because if you look at Mavi and Ultron, and you look at Vitaly Dubin, you look at Mansa Jamil, you look at all the people that are the leaders of this company, they are consistent this guy's on the all the time, and everything is totally transparent. Love his haircut. And Read the some only of the reason the that one person is not answering a question that you're asking I'm actually is talking because to the lady it's who above was, um, their pay grade. Asked all the questions a moment they ago, are and she's not just in fact, the developers be able to get onto at Zoom Ultron that can actually answer that question for you. We are the community that's coming together oh, to do it's all about communities and bring community oh, and build as well, out mate. a team oh, of people that work. are going to come and use the product Jesus. line through Mavi Global. Mavi Global what are you owns doing up, nothing. Rob? If you really want What's to he going on about? Rob, what are you doing up at friggin' 10 to 6 in the morning? Uh, in the chat room, we have 14 people. Um, this has obviously been broadcasted live. This is a Zoom meeting about Ultron. So if you don't know who they are, this is um, their website there. And they're power for the people. And it's another one of these community ones. I don't know enough about this to call it a scam or not. That's a Zoom meeting. But we do know that the guy who's running the show, has a very hot girlfriend. And he also like drives a lovely sports car, a yellow banana, uh, and he's the man. And I did a search on him using um, Perplexity, and um, he's the sales manager, basically, for that car. I mean, look at this car. I'm not looking at the car. Isn't that lovely? Whoa, that's a nice wee sports car. Hey, man. So that's quite cool, isn't it? But that's his Instagram account. You can go in there. And look, he's even got photos with Tony Roberts. And I think Rob went to Tony Roberts last month, didn't you, Rob? So it's pretty cool. So let's go back to the action. Let's listen to this. this the man who's got the car and the woman because he invested in this company. Learn, learn about it. Your Alexa is a coin. It's a blockchain coin. So the first big utility is what b and is. Rob has no life. That's why he's up at 10 to 6 in the morning. Is to pay for all of the gas fees on the blockchain, uh, different applications <laughs> come, the metaverse, the launch pads, the... Um, I was actually up at two o'clock in the morning to record this and they changed the time, so I managed to get three hours sleep. Cooperating on the Ultron blockchain and they will need ULX coins. You want to receive cash back on your FlipMe uh, purchases with the card, you need ULX Just leave your money coin. in the platform, you please do not take it out. Okay, it's all part of the equity you need ULX coins to for, the, notes, Rob? for all of the gas fees and every transactions every application hello so richard that's the morning first richard utility. then you have all these different applications 15 people in the zoom room that's you great guys the ULX coin okay so in the fleet me i said you need to stake the ULX coin in order to receive cashback of up when he rounds up i'll drop with the, the uh, link to the live meeting in the, in his chat room. he'll love that with every lottery ticket uh, uh, sold is gonna buy and burn ULX. <sighs> Five percent. Okay, so every every application is going to benefit the, the everybody. US, okay, even your mum and dad um, investors. It's going to be just going to change the world. Mickey. Oh, here we go, Mickey. You're so fine. And by Mickey. the way, we are closing Mickey. to be listed on coin market cap. Yes. Hi, uh, hi everyone. Hi Vitali. Thanks again for uh, your patience. Oh, it's really it's admirable, great. I have to say. Uh, so, look, I'll be honest, I'm relatively new to this project, so uh, I, oh, I, I'm already invested in uh, uh, slightly in Flipney and so. But uh, what I would like to understand from you, or if not from you, maybe you can guide me in the right direction, to understand what is the, uh, so this, I'm totally in it with the five years and long-term investing. So oh, that's for good. Me, that's well, you can a, take five years to figure that's out whether you lose your money or not then, right? should, in my opinion, think long-term. Hey, should we do a quiz in the chat term, room? Can you speak a bit to what makes Ultron so special? Okay. Because my understanding is that what's special, that's what I've been told by some of you guys who introduced me, is that Ultron decided to develop their blockchain, the layer one blockchain, Good and then question. they also developed their own applications like the Lotto Day, Flip Me, and what you mentioned upcoming, like the Shape Me or Metaverse, whatnot. <clears throat> <clears throat> but later on, while listening to recordings, I understand that actually these applications are not developed by Ultron. It's, I don't know who develops them. It's not very clear to me, like Flip Me concretely and Lotto Day. Mm. So, 
can you just speak Mel, a bit to that? Like, yeah. what is what is really Ultron? Like, do we have any insights? Can we have any insights into? What so when he's given the answer, I'll have a bullshit the, meter, okay? Who are the other applications? Are they? Uh, I understand strategic partnership, but um, uh, yeah, just to get an understanding, like who who is behind this project, so that we understand, you know, like the timelines that they are, we are given. Like I hear end of the year, or you mentioned the other the other time. I think beginning of the year, the flip me. What kind of concrete info, like uh, we can get about this? So that would be my my first question. Um, so uh, that I know how to position myself to others, you know what I mean? It has their own team uh, that uh, has expertise in the lottery uh, uh, businesses and the gaming industry. Oh, that's right. And they're utilizing uh, the developers. Their developers are working with collaboration with the Ultron developers uh, to, to bring this product into the blockchain. And uh, all of this is... Uh, on the layer of the Ultron blockchain, okay? So the lot of day will be utilizing Ultron blockchain, but not only Ultron, uh, five blockchain altogether. Flipme is also collaborating with Ultron. Ultron is building a lot of the uh, ecosystem together with the developers from the Flipme side, and they're collaborating on it. You can see the ID on the Ultron chain on ulxcan.com that will show you that this this has actually been built a yeah. big so part you, of it by the uh, ultron what team you could do is okay put that question and uh, that want him to answer uh they are in very close collaboration the, um, to to get it that's why put that question in my <laughs> all of this uh, yes the they they have YouTube teams and, then, and uh oh, they they have the the founders that. of this are not like it, ultron guys but so, uh, the development, a, a, a big portion of the development yeah, me uh, is done by the so Ultron guys. What you need to do. Okay. Uh, so that's the collaboration. So I hope that is more clear uh, on that. Did, and if you have some concrete questions around with me, and, and yeah, so can we direct them? Um, is there any other channel like in which country they launch? Uh, with which banks are they? Will they be in Europe, uh, North America? All this information will be revealed. John uh, will be released later. Yeah, will be released la later. We are in a very early stage of this. Uh, we don't we don't want a necessary competition right now uh, for this because when they release all of the prices, all of the things which uh, they will do, of course, before they onboard uh, any clients and customers, they will know exactly who are these people, what is the team, what, what is the bank uh, located, what are the different fees, everything will be revealed. But it's closer to the launch uh, because uh, we don't want to have this uh, half a year of uh, competitors see, taking uh, all of this analysis uh, on, of the on, business on. model and uh, stealing it, you know. Uh, so uh, this is the main reason why it's going to be revealed uh, uh, a little bit oh, yeah. more closer to the I've got uh, actual people launch. in the chat room that have listened to what you said, who are pinging out questions. And the expectation to launch FlipMe is around, uh, uh, happening now, uh, uh, I believe, week, February, so, March um, or April, you know, something but if, in, in but this area. to say a statement, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you're Susan. You just okay. report exactly what you want. And when say. you talk about hundreds you know, of applications uh, uh, that will develop in five year times, would they be also such only such or only like these strategic apps, or you expect like the yeah, developer yeah, community? Um, yeah, yeah, developer or, community or definitely. Right, uh, right, right now, uh, our community Susan, is uh, a state. little bit too small uh, for uh, other development right, teams be uh, to be. Uh, we we do have already people Susan, who build exchanges uh, on top of Ultron. Uh, you don't just know about them yet, but you will know about them. Uh, 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 but a lot of the projects are looking at Ultron, they're analyzing, they want to be part. But in this, in this early stage, they want uh, funding. They want funding from Ultron to be built on top of Ultron uh, because we are not so big yet. Uh, the, so they, they come to Ultron guys and say, uh, give the, us I've money, give us this and that, uh, um, and we'll so build on top of Ultron, right? Okay, uh, what the Ultron team right. wants yep. 
and is to have a strong, to a, a, a strong community JV, um, that the, got, these projects um, will come You've they don't ask for money. Little, they are like, hey, we want to build on top of you because we have such a big community. We want to have our project there, you know? That's so uh, that that will be much better. That will cost them less money. And uh, that Jesus. will shift the momentum into uh, right, more get, of get the development of the get, get uh, third party uh, uh, applications. And, and um, we'll you know, we, we need we need a bigger community. And even with that, we already have we uh, third party projects that do build that on Bunchan. We, we just don't them. hear about them yet. All right, uh, right. But they, they are happening yes. uh, in the background. And the uh, chat room comes up built. on the screen yeah. that's been brought uh, And is it the lower yeah, fees yeah. that yeah. you attract that Ultra wants to attract this development? Or what is the track? What makes Ultron attractive to developers? Okay, we've got lots happening here, guys. I don't know what's been happening because I've been on the phone to Susan so and she's now coming into the chat room and she's going to ask some questions in my uh, chat room and then we're going to have people who are in the Zoom meeting uh, try to ask these questions to him again. Or um, uh, the speed, like I understand it's faster than Ethereum, but there are also other blockchains faster than Ethereum. So what, what, what do you think it makes them uh, uh, to be attracted to come and develop for uh, on Ultron? Uh, so they are uh, much cheaper, much, much cheaper than the majority of blockchains. Uh, okay, so this Zoom meeting only happens once a week, and that's why I've got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Rob's in the chat room. We've got um, we have got Tug Guy <laughs> in the Zoom meeting. If you want to go in there and ask a curly question, follow the link that's in the chat room and go into the Zoom and ask this guy a question. I can't do it, obviously. Um, um, D, D, um, yeah, there's a lot of people in here. I don't know too many people. I'm going to flick through and look at the people in the Zoom room. But you guys go into the Zoom meeting and ask these questions and get this guy asking some curly questions. Let's find out whether this is a scam or it's legitimate. One of his contacts that flicked up on the screen was John... Um, Barksdale, and if you do research on him, he, he, we've got photos of this guy with Kalpish Patel and John Banksdale, Sam, and everything. Oh, Vitali lied. The coin was priced at three cents. Check the market, and uh, let me reply to this. Uh, uh, Here we go. A person that think he is so sophisticated. <laughs> the the coin price launched on the fourth of August at six p.m. UTC time on Ultron Swap first okay there was no pancake swap there is there was no this is one uh, of the avengers pancake swap there is no binance smart chain uh wlx tokens that you are seeing with your very smart sophisticated eyes on the pancake swap Ooh, it's okay? a smart ass. the coin launched at one cent at 6 p.m UTC time on ultron swap was the only way to buy it is to bridge the assets from other blockchains to ultron and the coin jumped to three cents in about three minutes. Okay, so that answer your question. And what you're looking at the history is you're looking at the history of pancake swap. You smart ass. Okay, Ooh. and you don't see the from one He's cent. Getting angry. To three Good cent, stuff, guys. Which happened in three five minutes. Okay, so uh, that's all. And the coin market cap doesn't reflect the ultra swap pricing. Uh, that uh, that is actually the native DEX. So that is you answer your coin and uh, and uh, so uh, stop saying bullshit in the chat because you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's look at this. Let's look at his girlfriend again. That's more interesting than you, mate. Um, okay, I'm idiot, and now you are not idiot, but uh, it look doesn't matter because you. That's a you, beautiful you don't car. Know what you're talking about. Um, anyways. Oh, sorry, uh, right I hope that it answers your questions, and we are about to wrap up uh, our uh, our ultra swap. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys for being here. We'll be coming every Wednesday. Uh, bring up your right. community. Let's. I'm going to open up my uh, Zoom uh, meeting. Q&A, everything. And if I'm going to drop. Not clear. Come here and get it. Everything. Yeah, I'll just drop that we're live Thank on the internet. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you, and I will see you guys soon on our next corporate calls. Ooh. Recording stopped. Recording stopped. And he's out of there. Wow. I managed to drop the link 
of the live meeting just before he cut us off while he closed the meeting. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my Zoom and anyone in my chat room can come in. And Rob said he can't come in because he's Recording got no clothes on. Recording in progress. I'm not going to record this because I don't need Recording to. Recording stopped. Broadcasting live. That's me. Um, now I'll give you the link to my Zoom. Oh, it's two of me on the screen. It's not pretty. It's not pretty. All right, the Zoom link for my Zoom. If you've got any questions, anything you want to do, by all means, come into my Zoom. I've just posted the link in the chat room, and we can discuss what happened. And if anyone uh, else who's in here that knows me, they can send me a voice message, and I can play it. But there's two of me on the screen. Please put me out of the misery. The company that was just on here, he would have just got the Zoom meeting. So we've got 15 in here at the moment. We might get a few more because people in the Zoom meeting may have caught the link. And um, But let's have a wee look at this this guy here at the moment. Um, so he's been with Tony Roberts. That means he's an instant success. The number one predictor of your long-term success all oh, these claims, they must have a scammer. Oh, I'm not saying this guy's a scammer, by the way. I do like his girlfriend, though, I must admit. She's very nice. So he's done really well there. He's got a nice car and a nice girlfriend. So he's definitely successful. Here we go. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. We are live on the internet, just letting you know that. Um, but we thought we'd discuss what was actually happening in the meeting. And hopefully we'll have a couple more people turn up here in a minute. Did you have a good, you went out last night, did you have a good day, a good time out? Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Hi. Oh, I've got no mic. There we go. I did this, I did this again. I accidentally forgot to turn the mic on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you went out yesterday and you were going out for dinner or something. Did you have a nice time? And you're wearing the same glasses again. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some more people joining us in a minute. I'm just tidying up some stuff. Like I've got two two versions of me on the screen. I'll make it so you're not big. There we go. And um, is anyone going to come in here, Rob? I've just invited Rob in here. He says he said he's not dressed, <laughs> so that's not a good idea. Um, I was yeah, hoping that the lady Susan was going to come in here, and um, she was she asked him some really good questions. Um, so she. Yeah. Still on or something. Yes, we're still live, so just bear that in mind. Oh. But I thought that we've got a few extras in here now, so I presume we've got some people um, from that meeting that might have jumped in here afterwards. We are broadcasting live on YouTube, just so everyone knows. And also, there is a link to a Zoom meeting. That's a link to my Zoom meeting. So if you want to come and join us and discuss what you thought was happening, hopefully we'll have... Um, George might come in here. I don't know where everyone's schedule is. I'm not normally up at this time of the night. Um, but there's the link to the Zoom meeting in there. Um, you can come in with your camera off if you want. You don't have to be on. Um, yes. So another another um, opportunity of a lifetime not to be missed. That everyone must um, <laughs> must invest in quickly, and they must have a five year vision and be a visionary. Um, you know that's what they basically say every time, isn't it? Interesting enough, when I was in there, his contact, um, the people he contacts actually was in there. And John Banksdale was uh, in there. And I'm going to actually show people something interesting. I'm just going to share my screen if I can. Uh, see if I can share a browser. Uh, this one here. And hopefully that will come up on everyone's screen. Boom. Um, and what we've got, when John Bankstar, I'm going to show you who he is, because that was interesting. Um, how do I find... I've got some interest. other thing I'm going to do. This guy here, I'm going to talk about him in a minute. But his connections with persons of interest, and when I was looking at his contacts... Um, I'm lonely in my Zoom meeting. Uh, why can't I search it? Oh, it's loading. That's why. Wait. Uh, what have we got? I will 
will this live stream be available after? Well, it's broadcasting now, and yes, it will. Um, so we want to go to John, and we want to look at everything's gone dead slow at the moment. I don't know why. John, so so just to bear in mind, all these guys are in bed together, and that's why what I'm doing is I'm trying to show people that these scams aren't separate entities. They're often connected to all the same people. So who knows who's behind, is it Ultron? But one of the um, people that popped up on the screen when I was looking at his contacts, ah, oh, it's not the people, was John Barksdale. Now there's a photo of John that was a contact on that guy's contact list. And that's obviously Sam Lee. And I think that's John's sister in that photo. So if you don't know who John is, he's um, got charged with crypto security fraud for $125 million. And I've chatted to John before, and I asked him um, whether Sam Lee owed him any money. And then I've also chatted to Sam Lee and asked him if he owns John any money. And he agreed he did, but it was Hyperverse that owed him money, not Sam Lee. <laughs> so if you do a search for that article there, and what I'm doing, trying to prove here, is that these guys are actually all connected. And the fact that I caught that contact, that was pretty amazing. So this is John being arrested in Thailand. I think it was Thailand, and there's videos on the internet about this. It's quite um, so. This is the actual article, United States Authority Office, and here's the article about John and what he's been charged with. Oh, he raised about sixty million dollars. So if you want to find all that, you can search for that same statement and find the same stuff. But that's what I'm trying to do there. Okay, so I'm going to read some messages in the chat before we lose people. It said, um, "How do we do that?" Um, how do we do what? There was no burning mentioned when they launched last year. People have seriously uh, lost faith in the project. And then Rob has asked, do you do they sell a product or service or invest it on your behalf? If they don't, it's a Ponzi. All right, fair enough. And then Rob's come back. And why aren't they borrowing money from banks? or investors to invest um, rather than going to Tom, Dick and Harry and paying them crazy returns. I mean, this is this is a fantastic, really simple um, thing. If this company was able to pay such high returns in investment and they had a, such a rock-solid uh, opportunity, why don't they um, go to the other... Um, cheaper options of loaning money. Why do they have to go to mum and dad investors and ask them to invest and then offer them ridiculous sums of money? Um, that's um, right. So what else we got? Rob did say a couple of things. If you have a better car than me and a <laughs> six-year girlfriend, then you are definitely a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, we're going to have some fun here. Um, one thing I am going to do, I am broadcasting, but I received a message from this guy here today. Now, this is a bit of fun that we can have because I'm going to ring this guy in a minute. Now, this guy actually who contacted me, he come, he's now banned me, but this guy seems to be a, um, an actual financial advisor. Ah, Richard, how you going, mate? Just um, So this guy here seems to be an actual financial advisor in America. And he sent me a message about a scam. So I'm just going to show you this because I'm going to ring up this guy because I've actually complained to his company now. So this this is actually on the guy's um, LinkedIn account. And it's his, his cell phone number, his fax and everything. And in here, he said this is what he actually offered me via, he spammed me on WhatsApp. Don't spam me on WhatsApp. But this is what he said. Come on. Talk to me, computer. Computer's trying to wake up. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's 6 o'clock now. 
Okay, come on, talk to me, computer. You can do this. Talk. It's meant to read it for me. It's not reading it. I'll get straight to the point without wasting much of your time. I got a program uh, going on with me that I thought a long way. Oh, this is not going to work me reading it. I need a volunteer. Why isn't this reading it to me? My computer's gone to sleep on reading. Okay, so basically this guy told me in one, the first message he sent me, he spammed me by telling me that there's a scheme out there um, that I should invest in. It happened to have his affiliate URL called Crypto Life. And then when I found the guy, the business he works for is called, um, it is called, uh, oh, it's jammed. What is happening? My computer's probably got smoke coming out of it. His company that he works for is actually called NewYorkLife.com and his um, affiliate handle was Crypto Life. So that showed me it was connected. But when I looked at this opportunity, it's meant to be a platform where it's all connected to these gateways and then I noticed the plans. And you can invest a minimum of a hundred dollar five hundred fifty two thousand four thousand seven thousand ten thousand and you're going to get you know these ridiculous amount of money and then i went to the bottom of this investment opportunity website and as i do i thought i'd have a look at their social media none of it works it's a, this is just a wordpress website looking at it and this guy has contacted me but when i started i did a reverse image look on the image that he sent me his profile image and i found the real him and i found the real him is actually a financial advisor with a registration number. So then I dug a bit deeper. So that's interesting because that would not happen that 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 there. So anyway, so then I've I've gone to, on to the interweb and I've found his Facebook page. And this is his actual real name, not the name he messaged me on. And there's the same photo. So he could have had his identity hijacked, right? But then I found his phone number and I've been messaging him. And then when I started messaging him on his phone number, he then removed me from WhatsApp like he's trying to run away from me. But you don't run away from the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger because he's going to publicly name and shame you if you're going to promote Ponzi scheme or a scam. So here we go here. Um, so when I got to his About Us page on his LinkedIn after finding his real name, then I found his cell phone number and then I found his license number. He must be a reg uh, registered financial advisor. So here you've got somebody living in America providing financial advice about a Ponzi scheme. So I've now emailed his boss, uh, the company he works for, and I've de demanded an answer to why this guy is promoting this uh, activity. But since then... Um, I checked out his Facebook page and I read some reviews and I've got a couple of people saying that this guy is not to be trusted and he's a scammer. So I've copied all those. But what I thought would be a nice thing to do is obviously to ring up the guy and let's see if he answers and let's see if he wants to talk. Because I did tell him that we'll be broadcasting live at five o'clock in the morning and I'd be publicizing the fact. Because this guy is not the normal guy because this guy really knows how to um, eat the hamburger. Look how much he must be enjoying this hamburger. Isn't that cool? Um, if anyone else wants to join us uh, in the Zoom meeting and have a conversation, we will have a conversation in a minute, but I just wanted to give this guy an opportunity to have a yarn and ask him why he thought promoting um, this um, genius armbridge investment opportunity that looks like it's built on a, a one-page website, why he thought he had the right to spam me, and we're going to see what actually happens. So let's, I'll see if I can find his number. Um, how am I going to do this, Danny? Uh, I might try calling him on WhatsApp. That means I'll have to shut WhatsApp down. And this is where I start mucking up because this is quite tricky doing this stuff. I just want... I've put him in my contacts and we'll open up WhatsApp. Um, but as we're saying, we should stay target, but I like doing a bit of fun along the way. We've got to ring up somebody. And then what we might do is we might, um, before I go to bed, back to bed, 6 o'clock, um is I'm going to go and go through all the Zooms and see who's in the Zoom. And they said we can, last night we did this and we got to chat to Sam Lee and we also got to chat to uh, Gobi. It was quite a laugh. All right, so what I'm going to do is find this guy's phone number. So what's his name again? F Felix. And we're going to ring him on WhatsApp. Uh, Felix. And then we'll have a yarn. And, and Susan, if you want to come in here and have a yarn, you're more than welcome. 
uh, she was the lady who asked all the questions. And Phoenix. Now, have we got him? Ah, nothing's working. One minute, please call it. Patience is a virtue. Um, Phoenix. Not there. Oh, there he is. Found him. All oh, things are looking good now. So let's see. We've found him. And let's ring Phoenix and see if he wants to talk to me about this opportunity. Is it going to work? Here he is. Other camera. your phone, you know you want to. Maybe he's shy. I've got my message ready to go. I know who you are. I it's going to be good, isn't it? I know who you are. Come on, Phoenix, answer the phone. You know you want to talk to the crypto Ponzi scheme avenger. Here's a great opportunity for you to push your Ponzi scheme down my throat. Coward. I've got a bell for you, Richard. How you going, mate? <laughs> What's up, Danny? Yeah, that's cool. I got up early for that one. I don't know we we got anything from that one, but um, I'll just put everyone on a big screen. What did you learn anything then? Oh, uh, I can't hear when you when you do the phone call thing. I can't hear nothing. Oh, right, must work on that. All right, no, I was ringing up, um, bringing up our our mate there. I wanted him to tell us why that uh, opportunity of a lifetime was such a good thing. I hate when people send me WhatsApp messages telling me to check out platforms and stuff. And right. then when I look at that and I find that he's a financial advisor, I thought, oh my goodness, I can't believe that. So I've, I'm going to report that guy for pushing Ponzi schemes and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, going back to the original one, um, that was quite interesting. Um, another get rich quick opportunity. I want a yellow car and I want a, I want a, a sexy girlfriend. So I should invest in that company. That's what it's really telling me. Well, I like your, I like your setup the way, you know, like what, what was accomplished yesterday? Oh, we slaughtered There's multiple yesterday. People that could come. What's that? We slaughtered yesterday. That was just, <laughs> You know, the I, way that that happened yesterday, we can we don't have to recreate it. They already created it. We're just documenting the content. Yeah. So, like, I got a I got a telegram from this gal. Um, I'm ha I have to assume it's a gal through Telegram, right? So she has a picture, you know. Oh yes. But at the start of the Waz thing, uh, you know, they were trying to contact me because they saw my name in there somehow. Yep. So people that watch these now, they can come with the same thing and, and we can do a whole crack. Like you said, there's well over into a hundreds of these same setups. Yeah. So the more we become witness to it, we'll just follow that same system and everybody's going to become efficient at like, hey, I'm going to ask the right questions. Whether you get pissed off or not, like it's it's easier when we get them pissed off. Yeah. Because we get right, get right to it. Like, like, did you notice, anybody notice how his whole like thing shifted when he started getting angry. I know. It doesn't sound. It when, doesn't sound terrible anymore, does it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I no, that it. was um when he got angry. That was really good. I'm gonna watch that back because I was focusing on a phone call at the time. Oh. Um, oh, it's really, it's really funny that you're D okay because I know D. <laughs> um, what's it say? D. Um, D okay. okay. Yeah, I know D. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, my yeah. secret handle. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just um, uh, I'm just got um, I've got Susan wanting to chat with me in another window. So you guys entertain yourselves. I'll just have a yarn. I'll just see. Oh, cool. She's trying to figure out how to get Did into you the see... chat. Yeah, uh, it's Shaney, right? Yeah, yeah, Shaney. Hey, greetings, Shaney. Uh. Did you happen to see what happened after we got off the car yesterday? <laughs> hey, um, Richard, 
I, I probably feel yeah, hey, when I ring the bell, it means I need to speak. Richard, when you lean into your phone and talk like that, it goes all blurry. It, that's what it sounds oh, like. Okay. So, yeah, just letting you know. Okay. But carry on. Ask that question again. Like this. Yeah, like it's this great. right here, right? That sounds brilliant. This, this is it right here? Just so you know. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have to watch it because um, I have to go out, so I missed some of it. She oh, okay. Out, she went out. All right. I didn't want to give a synopsis or nothing, but truly what what uh, Dan did, you know, his he doesn't have to put on a performance. There's a difference between being a, a, a thespian and a real actor. These people are putting on an act. And... <laughs> Sorry, mate. Don't you wet your pants like you did yesterday. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. What have we got? Uh, oh, I thought you said you were getting on a phone call. I were. So, yeah, um, it's uh, just um, it's hard doing it all because I've got the lady wanting to chat with me and she doesn't say what I've got. This is me at the moment. I have iMessage open. I have Facebook Messenger open. I have Telegram open <laughs> and I have uh, WhatsApp open. And then I'm also oh. ringing up people on my phone and they want to chat to me and yep. I go, where? <laughs> and they go, and then oh. I've also got uh, YouTube open with a chat room. And the lady who wants to chat to me is in the chat room asking me how to chat. So she's probably listened to this now. And um, and I'm going, you can either come into the Zoom meeting following the link and chat to us in the chat room. There's another chat room. You can have the chat room within the Zoom meeting as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. yeah, but that's all good. But, um, yeah, and then the other thing you can do is send me a voice recording and I can play it. Um, oh, here we right. go. And then we've got George. Um George was the one that got him pissed off, I think. Not sure <laughs> on one where the sound stretch. Got to be pissed. Uh, what did he say? He said, not sure on one where on sound stretch. Mm. Kind of got pissed. Tell me scam if legit in person can explain. Maybe not explaining right. No, he's not explaining it right. But that's George trying to... I think George gets so excited that when he puts his words on the screen they just come out before he's got his words he might be dyslexic um, trying to figure it out i think we've all got um special things well i'm yeah. dyslexic <laughs> yeah but really? the avengers have got their own strengths you see yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool so I'll, I'll see what um what i'm calling susan uh, what you want me to how do I chat with you? Okay. I'm going to bring her up. You guys entertain yourselves for a bit. Um, okay, <laughs> all right. Let's see what we're Oh, doing. my goodness. Oh, so there's some highlights here's for Susan. you, Shaney. Susan figured it out. Susan's Sorry. Susan's here, I think. Oh, good. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was speaking, I was speaking on YouTube instead of the Zoom. That's how I dumb know. I am. Yeah, that's right. You're not dumb, Susan. You you asked brilliant oh. questions then, Susan. You really did ask some questions. You you let them think yeah. it was really really good. Well, the thing, yeah, the thing is, I know truly it's a scam, um, and I know you know what um, the guy was being decent, and I thought let me give him you know it's good to hear yeah. what he says, um, but at the same time, uh, I am sitting. They have uh, not honoured their agreement with me personally. I am sitting with oh. me personally. With, without tokens. What is that coming through? Oh, look, there's background Don't sound. Uh, hold it. I'll just, I'll just see that. Oh, somebody had their. Oh, somebody's got two devices. It's probably Zach, is it? Yeah, just turn that one off. That'd be cool. Um, welcome, Zach. Um, let's go go again, Sam. Dude, I'll just go back to D's photo to scare everyone out. Just realise that's me. <laughs> Oh, please don't. You <laughs> turn me off my dinner. <laughs> oh, Pinnicky knock. <laughs> you don't do that to me, Danny. <laughs> I'm just doing it. Oh, dear. She hates me. She's never met me. Carry on. Anyway, um, Susan. Susan. Let's say Susan. She doesn't like me anyway. But you can call me Anne now. You're not oh, recording Anne. this, uh, are you? We are, are you? recording. Okay. Look, uh, uh, Susan. Okay. I'll call you Susan because we are broadcasting live. Okay, that's well, what we, that's what I do. So that's why you don't need to turn your camera on. You can keep it anonymous. I think that's why you just exposed me now. Anyway, no, you expose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yeah, yeah. I don't. 
Do you know what? I don't care. I tell you what. When I realised I was blocked, um, and my de- my chat's deleted and that um, from just asking simple question, you know, like when are we getting our tokens? Um, you can't ask yeah, that. You can't ask make, that question. It, it makes you angry. <laughs> yeah, of course. Pardon. You can't ask those questions. Yeah. That's the funny thing. Can you imagine you going into your bank and asking a question? When I I know I've got a term deposit for three months. When does that mature? <laughs> and then they they hang up on you. <laughs> it's the same deal, wasn't it? Exactly. And the thing is, as well, is Oops. I know that he can argue and tell me about the smart contracts and everything. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the screen very well. Um, yeah. But I know that they don't have a smart contract because they told us that, um, you see, whenever you buy tokens on from somebody's website, okay, or their back office, which is what we did with um, Marvi and Ultron. Yep. Um, it's, you know, it's, you know, they can do anything. They've got, uh, they say it's decentralized, but it's not. They've got control over it, right? Mm. So we as a community said to them last year, we want to rather hold the tokens that we're staking in our decentralized wallet, which is like MetaMask. Yep. And, you know, they listened, they listened, whatever. And then, of course, for months, I never bothered with them because I just actually started to not like their style. And I started, I was looking at things like liquidity and that, and I, there were a lot of red flags coming up. And I just thought, you know what? I'm not going to promote this anymore. But unfortunately, I had bought tokens and they were they were staked. And I, I decided, okay, I'll unlock them after the first year. And then, you know, maybe cash out some, maybe restake some, and let's see. Um, and then, of course, what happened the first time they had to honor their side of the agreement a year later, um, you know, now we're having all these issues. Mm. And um, so what they said is if you stake for a year, then you're going to get 30% of your tokens, right? Then the second year you get 25%, third year I think it's 20 and so it goes for the full five years till you get all your tokens. Yeah. Now, now the problem is that, yeah, we, we did that. And when it came to, to the sort of um, 5th or 6th of August, I went to try to see if I was getting my 30%. And then that's when I started asking the leaders, well, what's happening to our 30%? And, you know, all the Ultron groups and Mavi groups are dead quiet. The leaders have got everybody so well muted and so well trained. Shut up. It's a five-year plan. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just follow the plan, uh, you know, um, literally invest for five years, you know, um, and that's it. That's the plan. But yeah. the thing is, when you do that, they've got your money for five years, right? I know. That's so they the can deal. do what they like with your money for five years. I know. And in five years' time, if they decide to do a runner, you know, yeah, yeah that- and they can do that. So they've got a five-year so, uh, money grab, haven't they? That's what they've really got. Well, exactly. You see, so yeah. they're building up their bank balance over the five-year period by telling you, you know, um, that uh, promising you all these staking rewards. Yeah. Now, they changed the white paper, um, you know, after certainly after I joined, and there was no talk of burning and certainly not in the proportions that they're talking about. Mm-hmm. I mean, does it make sense? for people who want to cash out some of their tokens to be supporting those that don't want to cash out, you know? Hey, Why Anne. must we the ones be that suffer the burning? Suzanne. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Can I say I told you so? Because I think a year ago you told me that you had these and this was the real deal. Yes. And I said I, did. I don't I trust did. that anything's a real deal. So I'm just going to gloat here for it's, a wee bit and go, told you so. I know you are. Keep quiet. Sorry. Do you know what, oh, just Danny? Uh, <laughs> sorry, Ian. Uh, uh, don't worry. I've got a lot of people coming to me now saying, you know, we wish we'd listened to you when I warned them about Sam and mm. Hypers and, you know, the Staple Dows and all these things. So don't worry. Yes, it does happen. Yeah. Do you remember now, this, the remember thing this is, video behind me, Ian, when I did this two years ago and I said, I'm your saviour from Hyperverse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Evil laughter. Danny. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. It's Danny. early in the morning. Listen, the thing is, right, 
I was keeping an eye on them and they pick, they're picking up a lot of momentum because they're advertising the so-called lottery that they're going to launch, which is going to start at a million dollars, right? And then what they've done is they haven't launched the lottery yet. It should have been already launched by now, but it hasn't launched yet. And But what they did is they promoted uh, lottery pre-sale tickets, okay? Mm. So a chance for you all to buy and spend more money with them. And you buy these pre-sale tickets so that when the lottery does run, you can obviously get extra rewards, right? Do you you know what that guy would have done? Do you know what that guy would have done when you put your money in? He would have done this. Drunk some champagne and you paid for it, Anne. <laughs> Whoops, Suzanne. Suzanne. Can I can I ask a question? Is, Danny, oh, hold it. We've got a question coming is, in. Anne. We, can we, you hear me? Mm-hmm. Co- yeah, we can. We can hear you call. You have asked a question. Hey, and if you talk too long, I've got this buzzer. There you go. I just flew into Dubai and I went to their headquarters to Mammy. Wow. Um, and I met with the whole team for the last two weeks. Wow. So Here's my understanding of blockchain technology, right? Yep. Um, I haven't bought into anything yet. Um, I'm new to the concept, new to the project. Don't do but, it. But um, you can you can go to DeFiLlama.com and you can click on smart chains and you can click on chain analytics and see what layer one technology is. So there's API that you can it's it's non mutable data. This is data that is showing on chain analytics for blockchain technology. Now, if you look at the liquidity lock, it's called TVL, total volume yes. lock. You I can understand see, that. You can see, yes. see that smart contracts, you're seeing that Ultron is number nine out of 215 projects. You cannot make that up. That now, that's what anything. gave me. That means nothing, sir. Sorry. Let me, sorry. Yeah, let me, let me let you time, finish. Time. I'm going to let you finish. Yeah. You sorry, just, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying as far as like liquidity in that project, that's showing that Ultron at least is valid in that regard, right? Liquidity, no. liquidity can be fooled though, because they can. Uh, we no, had no. this with another one, didn't we? You go in. No, Danny, Suzanne. it's true. It's true. That's all our money sitting there uh, in in total value locked, and that's exactly it. It's locked. Okay, so it's not loose liquidity, right? It doesn't mean that there's going to be money there when, when in four years' time, everybody wants to start cashing out. Um, it doesn't mean that they're going to be able to. Because if you have a look, and um, this is what I'm saying, I was watching everything very, very carefully when I realized that they said they're only giving us our tokens on the 30th of, um, sorry, the 17th of October. Okay, I was watching the price of Ultron. It had gone just over 18 cents. Um, And Ultron is one token that has always held its price, right? The only time it plummeted, I think, to five and a half cents was when FXS FXS (laughs) collapsed, right, with uh, Sam Bankman freed. So um, and then it slowly, slowly recovered. Now, obviously, with the amount of people coming in, yes, it should hold its value. Okay, now the thing is that they um, I understand and I understand they're climbing the ranks and everything. But all it means is that they're doing a hell of a great sales job. They're getting everybody to stake their tokens, but it's still under Ultron's control. Now, I joined in the beginning of August. So I'm one of the old people that have been here since the beginning. There was no talk of burning or anything like that. We were told we would get 30% of our tokens. At the time, they never even mentioned whether it's our base stake, which is the actual value of the tokens for the money that we bought in, or it's our total stake, which is your earnings as well over over the past year. Now, of course, so did, so did, when, so did, so did you so did you get any tokens at all? Nothing given to nothing to this. So no. When, so when you did the staking hub, how much did you buy? Oh, I bought I, I bought quite a few hubs, right? Um, I'd be buying them. I bought I think it was about three hundred dollars worth when it first launched. Okay, and yes, I did yes. buy at one cent. <laughs> So you bought Pardon? so you only, so you only bought $300 worth of the staking hub and you didn't get any ULX tokens? 
No, no, no. I've got, I've got about, I think I've got about eight hundred dollars worth of hubs. I bought them at different times. Okay, okay. for the staking, right? For the staking hub. Yes, yes. And okay. so, so the, so this is this is my concern. Um, is it Claude? Claude, yes. Um, is that so now? I was watching and now all of a sudden when I saw that I didn't get my tokens, um, you know, like say on the 5th or the 6th of August, I contacted my upline and I said, well, are we getting tokens? And they go, well, go watch the Zooms. Okay, this is the answers. This is how they treat you. And I said, well, yes, I have gone and watched the Zooms and there's no answer there. And they go, well, write to support. You write to support and then they tell you, it's going to be announced. It's going to be announced. And all this was happening uh, in August, right? And then finally, in beginning of September, when I did get support to respond, they said, um, we are going to be giving them to everyone on the 17th of October. Okay, so they'll be released on the 17th of October. Now, their reason was, in the beginning, when you purchased your hubs, you purchased and you placed your money with Marvi or Altron. I don't know which. I, as, as, uh, I gather it's Marvi because they are the marketing arm. Okay. So we paid our money directly into their wallet. Now, there's your very first big red flag. With DeFi projects, you never place your money in somebody else's wallet. The money stays in your own wallet. Now, I've only just learned this in the last six months since I've actually really been seriously studying crypto okay so and that's the first thing now during all our trainings last year we kept asking you know can we not rather hold seen as it's a five-year staking plan can we, can we rather hold them in our own wallets in our metamask or you know whichever wallet a decentralized wallet and you know, nothing ever happened, nothing ever happened. But of course, when the first year started coming to an end, which was August, they came up with this idea or plan and they said, ah, oh, well, what we're doing is the reason we're only releasing them in October, on the 17th of October to everyone, is because we are doing some kind of a, I forget the wording they used, but we're doing a... Uh, some work in the back office so that you can hold your tokens directly in your decentralized wallet. They need to make some kind of a, a adaptation, right, to the back office. That's a big word, eh? Now, the only <laughs> the only adaptation that they 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 <laughs> they they needed to make was to actually have a real smart contract because I'm absolutely convinced they do not run on a proper smart contract because if they did, we would not be buying them inside Marvi's back office. Okay. So they can talk all they like. They can tell you to look at your mm -hmm. order number and your shoe, Danny. At no, this that's and that. Me, that's but... in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, sorry. <laughs> He's driving at 18 um, Yeah, I know. I know, good. Um, you know, and 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 so and, and and this is the thing, and this is this is when you start to realize how they are bullshitting you, excuse my French. Um and so so the story goes now that this is what they were doing. Now the thing is, some people have got their tokens because why? You do need some people writing on social media and in their groups that they've received their tokens, but they have not given it to everyone. Now, mm. a few weeks ago, I think it was about three, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, the Altron coin or token went to about 19 cents. Okay. And as soon as they made the announcement that they were going to be giving us our tokens on the 17th of October, I watched the token and it started decreasing, decreasing, you know, very slowly over the three week, the last three weeks. You can go and check that yourself, right? Um, and it went all the way down to eight and a half cents. So that's the first sign of a huge red flag. And at the same time, you know, all this nonsense about uh, you know that it's going to be held in our in our wallets and all of that. Now I can't see anything 
that they've done that they're talking about because when they do deposit the tokens in our wallet, you can withdraw them and you will just withdraw them the normal way to Ultron Swap and you will then swap your wrapped ULX for ULX and then it will go to your, you know, to your MetaMask. Um, but as I say, I haven't been able to do that transaction because, um, you know, I, I haven't received my tokens and some of my team members haven't either. I've got a guy who spent twelve and a half thousand dollars and he's still sitting as well. Support haven't even replied to him. How do you think I feel as a person that introduced somebody to this? You know, it's demoralizing. It's um, yeah, it, it, it's yeah, it, it, it's shocking. Don't worry, so, Susan, I won't name and, and shame you. Um, should we hear, because this guy seems quite... Listen. Uh, yep, all right. Okay. But also, <laughs> the, li the liquidity went from 1.8 in BUSD, uh, the, the ULX was paired with US, uh, BUSD, uh, which is the Binance US dollar, and it went from um, 2.1 million to 1.6 million. At the same time, the token crashed to... to uh, by 50%. So, and the, coupled with the fact that half of us or, or most of us haven't got our tokens, can people not see that they're red flags here? And I'm sorry, that's the way I interpret it. Coupled with the fact that when you ask the leaders, they cut you out of their groups. They don't want to explain it to you. They tell you, go watch the videos and it's all explained yeah. there. Well, yeah, you know what? It's shocking. I'm giving you just, yeah. I'm, I'm giving yeah. you just an unbiased, uh, you know, approach because I haven't bought anything. I I just went yeah, to their office. Please and, don't. Please yeah, don't. Let's please listen, in. Please Anne. don't. Let's, um, yeah, I'm yeah, interested in what he's going to say, Ian. So let's just have a listen because uh, it sounds like he's done a bit of studying yes. as well. Yes. So am I. So am I. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's listen. Thank you, sir. Go for it, mate. So um, I'm I, I was just curious because I I heard you in the chat and that that raised concerns for me because I was like, okay, well. Um, if I buy a staking hub, will I, will I receive any tokens? And I was thinking more so when I went there, why would I stake it for five years when I know the bull run is going to be right here? I would just go on Uniswap or uh, one of these other swaps and then get ULX on the open market. Just like you said, if you exactly. would have got it at three cents, you would have, you would at least have the certainty and surety that you could at least cash out your liquidity. If Absolutely. you're not getting the tokens, you can't do that at all. Yeah. The, Absolutely. The, first red, Absolutely. The, first red, the first red flag is the returns. You can't get that sort of return on, they were saying five point something percent, weren't they, and whatever. That That's high That's high returns on your money. And hardly any. I mean, the crypto what, what, market, no matter what, if you have, if you have a community buying mm. stuff, you're going to get the returns. The returns are the concern. The concern is is yeah. if there's the liquidity there for to be able to withdraw, which there will be because there's a community driving it, right? They're really good at sales. Yeah, but, you know, wow. the, it's it's just whether or not you can get the coins if you get the staking hub is what my concern is. So if you're saying that you, some of your community, I mean, $800 is really nothing. I was thinking about throwing 25000 staking up, though. We're, we're talking oh. different levels of uh, concern yeah. here. But um, if, if you could go to Voltron on the open market and just keep playing it, uh, I think it's, there's still a great opportunity in Ultron in itself. No, having being a direct support for direct sales and not honoring giving token that does draw a red, red flag for me. Um, so I, I mean, you got your experience, so then it gives me insight on what I could do moving forward with the project. Um, oh, that's cool, but well, I can only give you, you know, my, my insight on. Yes. Well, look, I mean, yeah, as you Go say, ahead. I've only spent $800, but I do have someone that spent $12,500 and he hasn't received one token yet either. Mm. Okay. So, um, you know, the, the thing is um, that, yeah, I absolutely do not uh, recommend. i tell you why. And I understand that, you know, you, you are saying the same as vitally, the community will drive up the liquidity and whatever. Well, it hasn't. The liquidity has stayed um, literally at 2.1, okay, the total liquidity. Um, and it only, it went down to 1.6 just after the 17th when obviously people started cashing out, okay? Now, the big concern is that if you go to cash out 
say, 12,000 tokens, right? They burn, I would say, you will get 900 tokens from 12,000. So 11,100 get burnt. Does that sound like good a good odds to you? Only if you do the staking hub is what I'm understanding. If you do it on no, the open no. market, that. No, no, no. Uh, so I've done my staking hub for the year. We were told lock your lock your coins in for a full year. So it's a five year plan, but you lock it in year by year. Okay. So once you lock it in, you can't unlock it until your year is up. Okay. But now, if you and yes, they do offer you extra tokens, uh, especially if you're going to pay twenty five thousand dollars or something. You'll get you'll get extra tokens. But well, the problem gonna get is the, that's going to get the girlfriend a new handbag, isn't it? it well, the, the 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 problem is, and this is what I'm actually experiencing. So I'm not just talking <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> oh, he, oh, we he got caught in the vortex. He'll be back. He didn't get kicked out, by the way. He's just got, he'll be back in the middle. Uh, you're better off. You're better off buying your coins from an exchange, aren't you? And having your own portfolio. No, the the thing is, yes and no. Um, well, if I you do, you 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 can and you can watch it. You know, if you do that, I would say to anyone, if you're holding ULX, you really need to watch the price um, because they have control over the price. Okay. Well, yeah, any, and, well, yeah, any, any, any coin, any crypto is a risk, isn't it? If you even if you buy them on exchange, it's a risk. They go up and down, and some coins just disappear. Mm. Um, yes, um, absolutely. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, the only way to buy crypto and to make money with crypto is to buy it from an exchange, a proper listed yeah. exchange. Okay through a smart contract that is the only way to buy crypto and deal with crypto. And there's some amazing opportunities out there now where you can buy crypto um, or literally it's free, but you can mine it and you can mint it and you can gather to billions and billions of tokens sounds so like that when the okay. bull run comes, so, yes. Sounds like we are Satoshi was, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, let's ring the bell for that because... Is everything y'all just? And, <laughs> um, everything you, everything you guys just. Out, 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 one at a time. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, it's something like a zoo, Danny. I know. A I can do animal noises. Zoo. So who wants yeah. to speak? What point do we have? Um, so uh, what are we saying? Um, it's better. Uh, you can just literally buy straight direct off an exchange and not have all the hassle. Would be one way of no. investing in crypto the at the thing moment. Is, I, I'm talking specifically about Ultron because I'm talking about what they sold and what they're delivering. Mm. They are not delivering what they sold. Okay. Yeah. They've changed the white paper. I don't think it's oh. necessarily Ultron that's doing that. I think if you're talking about having a concern, it would be with Mavi because you're, you're talking yes. about buying yeah. NFT from Mavi in the back office. You're not talking about going to Ultron on the open market because I looked at Ultron and I don't think Ultron has a problem. I think Ultron is pretty transparent. It's just like any other project. It's a layer one blockchain. And if you go and buy it on the open market and you sell it on the open market, there is no such thing as a burning. The burning happens with a smart contract, with a staking hub, with the NFT. Now, that is pretty transparent as it is. They obviously want you to hold liquidity and lock it because if you lock it, yes. then, yes. then it's going to prop up the, the market value. Now, they are going to make it so that it burns your tokens if you pull out sooner because that's just a part of a smart contract. Now, I haven't been able to vo validate where that smart contract is yet. And like I said, I'm brand new to this project. I haven't invested in anything, but I just spent two weeks in Dubai and I went to their headquarters and I, you know, saw things firsthand. But, you know, everything that's being told to me, I need to investigate and validate. I didn't buy on the spot. It was, it was 15 cents when I got there. By the time I got back to America, it was down to eight cents. Wow. At the very moment, yeah. I still I still didn't buy. <laughs> I didn't go, oh, it's a great Good. opportunity. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I, I did yeah. just put another 40000 into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, Chainlink and XRP. You know what I'm saying? Today. <laughs> Good, so, for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Can you sponsor my YouTube channel, mate? 
who would have done yeah. it? Yeah. But diversification <laughs> is obviously the name of the game, and I I still mm-hmm. think diversifying into Ultron at the end of the day isn't a bad idea. Um, you know, well, will I put in eight hundred bucks? Of yeah. course. Yeah. Hmm. But will I put Look, it in? If a I, if I, I, don't, I don't know. Who's talking? The thing is, yeah, I definitely wouldn't put it into a staking hub. Now, now let me just explain what they told us when we, because don't forget, I was there since the beginning, right? They've changed the white paper since, okay? Um, this is where they've added all the burning and everything. There was no talk of burning and, and anything in the beginning, but obviously we we all know that that happens, right? But but there was no there was no talk of all of that, right? We didn't know when and and all the rest of it. So literally, what what I'm saying is, you've now got people that went to go to look forward to getting their thirty percent of their tokens. Okay, I mean, I even I was seriously considered considering about putting them back in. OK, um, and then, as I say, first of all, I haven't received them. So, you know, and, and, and as I told you why and um, and yeah, that was the first uh, the first red flag. But also, as I explained, the price dropping everything by the 17th. And I mean, you can go into the historical data. You'll see all of this. I'm not making it up. It, it collapsed down to eight and a half cents, as you said. I think you just mentioned that. Um, the liquidity dropped. It went to 1.6. Um, obviously, they are controlling it. That's why I asked him, who is controlling the smart contract? I haven't had an answer. Okay. Um, and that's why I'm saying I don't believe that the ULX is on a, on a smart contract because there's no way they're going to go now and spend millions of dollars to a blockchain developer and to get a, a smart contract for it. Uh, in MetaMask and wherever else. Now, Ultron, yes, they look very slick. It's all about sales, okay? The reason I stopped plugging in, because I'm so tired, every week there's a something that you have to put your money in with them. It's all about collecting money. I mean, they're launching this lotto. The lotto's never launched. It was promised to have launched last year. We were supposed to have got... Meta uh, stars in the metaverse and all sorts of things. There's there's no more talk of metaverse? all of that. <laughs> the fact that we the fact that they are taking eleven twelfths of our tokens and of the thirty percent, we can actually only cash out one twelfth. I find it totally totally unacceptable, and that's why I'm saying to you, rather go and buy it on the decks. But if you do go and buy it on the decks. Please be very careful and watch the price very, very carefully because it's not just me. A lot of people do believe that the project will be in a rug pull at some point, okay? Um, now, as soon as they've stopped collecting all their money, as soon as they can't deliver on any of the projects, um, things will start to happen. And that's when you need to be able to have access and, and get your tokens sold. So, you know what, for me... At- Pardon? I th- think at the end of the day, you know, it's just whether or not people understand that Mavi is a direct sales company. You're not, not you're not getting yourself into something that's not correlated to sales. It is. So um, anytime that we have a bull market, everything goes up. And just like stocks, there's only the top 5%. You have FANG, right? So e- even, even though Cardano went up and slammed up, as soon as the as soon as the bear market hit, it still went down eighty five to ninety percent. So I I don't think yes. that Ultron and yes. I don't think Ultron and no, itself but- is a rug mm-hmm. at all because you have that API data. Yeah. You can't you can't fake six hundred and thirty eight million coming into an API. Like to get to the top ten percent in DeFi, that's not possible without having some blockchain technology. So it's just yes. challenging for me. For me to see it as a rug, I definitely think there's potential and diversification in it. And in the staking hub realm, I don't know yet because I haven't validated that that's a smart contract. They do have burning mechanisms built into their NFTs. That's what a non-fungible token in a contract should have if you want people to stake it longer. Now, as far as the validity of it being a good project, I saw a good metric being that the API is registering how much there is locked in liquidity. And if there is that much locked in liquidity and there's a community behind it, Mavi is 100% a MLM, which is a legal company and it's a direct sales company. They have a community. If they're able to drive sales to uh, Ultron, it's going to do very well. 
Now, is it going to be a rug? I 100% do not believe that. I do believe it is a good investment on the open market if you do the DEX tool and then you open it and you buy it and you sell it at your own leisure because if you lock it and they burn it, you're not going to be happy. Uh, the only concern that I have that you have all as well, and I don't want to bring my community into it, is you know buying these NFTs and then not getting the ULX token. And if if I can just say hey to my community, you can, and because I have I have six million followers on Instagram, you know I have plenty of people that I could bring into this as well. Um, that's why yeah. we're not there. Can you share my YouTube out. channel? So yeah, <laughs> um, one one of the biggest things that I see here is you know whether or not you're a direct salesperson and you have a reason to bring your community in. I see your concerns because you have people that have bought and not got tokens, and that's very concerning to me. And you know, I'm I'm actually going to ask the head because I'm I'm in the group chats with the top people. I'm not in the group chats with the you know smaller organization i'm in the top organization i'm i got involved in you know the top top i'm with the top people so um are you, are you talking ask... about mensa and who the top people are you talking about and michael the know. ceo I don't know. john banks uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm in the top with the immortals group i'm not in any of this side side groups so um, I'm going to ask them and say, hey, what's up? Uh, you know, I heard some people. Well, in I, was in, I was in the Immortals group until they kicked me out of it for asking this question. We, how do we go about getting our tokens? They kicked me out. So well, that's, that's why I that called I'm out. I'm in, I'm in the chat right now and I'm going to say, hey, what's up? I have some people concerned about tokens and I'm going to ask them what's up with that. Good why do they get tokens? They keep it, keep yeah, it all the way do. live. You know, yes, the I sake of the community that we Hit the bell, yeah. Danny. Okay, here we go. I can send you a screenshot. Okay. I can send you a screenshot of my account. You need to understand. And also, and everybody, uh, and also if can we give me the information the for the guy you had that bought 12500 If you can give me that information too, I'll ask directly and say, hey, what's up with this guy? I'll, I'll send you his account now too. He, his screenshot. Let me look for it. Let's keep a level of clarity here though because you guys are progressing not just for the subject matter, but for the sake of Danny's um, going live every day now, we have uh, you know a, mom a moment of clarity to pin right here. Um, so if you're gonna if you're gonna do what you're saying, uh, what's your name, Zach? Yep. Yeah, Zach. If you could if you could uh, keep it all the way live with your community, that would be beneficial for the sake of where Danny's trying to take his um, you know his interests. Or even having how this call. How do I send this to you? Um, is it Claude or Zach? It, Sorry, what is your room, name? Man. Put it in the chat room, man. Oh. The, the okay, Zoom chat let me room. see how to do that. Yeah. I mean, at okay. the end of the day, what I'm trying to accomplish here is just obviously make sure people aren't losing their money. And, I mean, your knowledge, Zach, is... is absolutely awesome and obviously S Suzanne <laughs> has actually done a lot of research on her own merits as well so we're just getting some answers and if there is a um, a bottleneck in something then you know you know, I, I often deal with Ponzi schemes I mean the title of this thumbnail can change but the idea is I just wanted to find out whether this is a scam or it's legitimate and it, information and knowledge is key so you know if you share your experience, knowledge and skills with us then yeah. everyone wins Oh. What's happening, Suzanne? Yeah, hang on. All right, I'm coming. One second. Sorry, I keep... Okay, I'm sending it now. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not... I don't know how to pull the screenshot through. Um, oh, because I to... can't copy it. Okay. Let me well, see. It won't copy, Danny. Send it to me. Um, or... if, you, if you could... Uh... What's a, what's a good way to communicate with you, Suzanne, so that I can get your account information and then also your downlines information? Because well, um, let, let me I, give you my phone number. I'll no, give you my no, no, phone no, no, number. No, 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 don't put that over here. Um, how about if we, no. we do well, it on WhatsApp? Danny. And then Anne, okay. Suzanne, listen. Um, I can. Yeah. How about if I connect with WhatsApp with you, Zach? Does that work? And then I can, I can transfer and connect you too. Is that better? I can do yeah, that offline, though. That's fine. Because I don't mind my WhatsApp being public. Uh, well, my phone number, I don't care if anyone knows it because it's public. So my my phone I'll number. Send, I'll, I'll send you my number now, Danny. I've got your number, Anne. 
Suzanne. <laughs> Susan. Just remember, well, my name's go. Danny DeHeck, not okay. um, D. Oakley, <laughs> whatever her name is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does that work? Um, so oh, but you send me the screenshot, Anne, and I'll, I can put it in here because I can attach I'll send files. it to you on Telegram oh, because it's on Telegram. I'll send it, it to you on Telegram. I don't, I've never done – uh, oh, screenshot. Okay, oh, no, I can. I can do it on WhatsApp. Yes, you I'll can do, do it, it on WhatsApp. Hang on. Yeah, well, I I'm can even, just screenshot I'm it. Even curious, I'm even curious to just purchase a $100 NFT and see if I get tokens. No, you will get your tokens. Let me, but but in a year's time, when you want. Oh, where'd you go? She's gone. I'll get her to send that to us on WhatsApp. Um, if I can find that, I shut down WhatsApp because I was, I've blown up my computer. So, how long you've been involved in crypto, Zach? I've been in since 2016, so I've been in wow. plenty of time. I, I'm I'm a crypto crypto whale at this point. Um, yep. But the reality is, is I'm also in the direct sales industry and I don't see MLM as a pyramid scheme. I see it as, you know, one of the most leading innovative sales organizations structured for business. And, you know, there's a reason why certain people understand the model and some people don't. There's not 95 percent are customers and 5 percent are real distributors. And, you know, there's 96 trillion dollars that have been brought in through the direct sales industry. Um, it's not a joke. It's a it's a professional sport. And. Yeah. I see myself as somebody that understands that. I've yeah. been in direct sales for five years, so I I've definitely see the structure of a Ponzi, and I see you know companies that do that, and they use mm. the same structure with the people. Um, so I, I try to do my due diligence when it comes to investigating yeah. and things that I'm willing to diversify yeah. into, and that's the biggest key thing is I get diversification. The people, I get the people, mate, that have um, listened to a friend and family member and put money in, hoping to get three or four times return and do nothing. No, just do a passive investment and then they just lose it all. Right. You know, that's the ones that I'm dealing with. And that, and that's the biggest question. thing. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, can, can you bring that same level of clarity and break it down for the average investor, the, the, like you say, the whale investor and then the mom and pop investor where you have the MLM and they might be diversified enough to the point where they can bring things into certain projects like this or others that, that uh, Danny has brought to light, but isn't there a way where we can show a template? This is the right kind of stuff that you need if you had bare bones dollars on the table instead of X amount of crypto, and then you have to follow bringing the MLM into you know, the, um, the startup, the investment space. Don't you have a, like a, an easy- No, um, I can answer that. One no, through five way to that. say- That's it's like saying, don't read, the, don't read the Bible, Richard, but believe in God. No, there's only, there's only one way, and that is to treat crypto as it was designed, right? Because don't forget, crypto came about to help people like you and me, the common man, right, make money. What do you think people did, the early doctors of Bitcoin, years ago when they started mining it at two cents? OK, now I have come across other tokens that are, I mean, the the the, the people that have designed these um, these uh, blockchains uh, and communities, as we call it. Um, I mean, these these are people that are giving Bitcoin and Ethereum a run for their money. There's no membership plan. You don't part with your money. You go straight to their decks and you buy their tokens. These people know about crypto. And these are the type of people that I'm following now. And at some point, I'm going to show you how you can do the same and acquire billions of dollars of tokens for literally a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars. OK, because I think you um, and the other lady on the call, you know what, um, if, if your eyes could be opened as much as mine have the past six months, you're going to realize that these companies like Ultron that are selling tokens in their back office where you have to put your money in their hands and they have control over it. Because look at it. I've given them my money. I've, I'm I'm waiting for them to honor their promise to release my tokens and they have control. Now, if I didn't have my money in there under their control, I would have my tokens, but unfortunately I was too, I, I was too ignorant. Okay. And this is why we are saying 
if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. Yeah. So with and Altron and Mavi, they own your tokens. I don't yeah. care what they say, but they own well, and they control our tokens. Yeah. I just before we lose focus, why don't we just have a look at that screenshot and get? I've, I've given that, put that screenshot in the chat room. So that's what you were looking for, wasn't it, Zach? So let's just stay focused on that for a bit, and I yeah. and okay. just okay. Oh, okay, so it says your earnings, and it shows your ULX tokens right there. It says you have 166 yeah. tokens. And do you see underneath where it says claim? Yes, In very because, faint letters. Yes. So because so when, well, how long, so hey, how long is your order? Pardon? So it says next base stake unlock amount. Um. So you're saying that you've had your tokens for a year or your NFT? No. Uh, yes, I've had mine for over a year. And so has this guy. This is a friend of mine. Right. So he's had his also for over a year. OK, so what so what should have happened now is. No, no. The can you just stay focused? What I want to know is that screenshot yes, you gave me. Is that, no, no, no. I just want to know. To Hold it. It's my show. Yeah. <laughs> that screenshot. OK. And you've yes. got to You've got to let me talk when I talk. But that screenshot sure, you gave sure. us, is that yours or your friends? No, that's Mix. That's my friends. Excellent. All yes. right. So let, let, let Zach answer that question, eh? And then. Okay. So that looks like Mavi's back office. That doesn't look like anything underneath Ultron's control. So if you buy if you buy Ultron on the open market, you're still holding it in your own DeFi wallet. She's got cut off at the moment. Um, she's in South Africa, and the power goes on and off sometimes. So she'll be back in a second. But th thanks, I appreciate you getting some clarity here. This is quite. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of what we want. Yes, she is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test. You know what's up with ULX? I still think it's a great coin. I still think diversifying a thousand dollars into it. You know, it's not financial advice. I mm. think every token, once you hit a bear market, will to be decimated by 90%. You mm. can see that with BNB. They're the largest layer one in China. You can see that with ADA. They're the fork from uh, Ethereum. But if you go on DeFiLama.com, you can definitely see that Ethereum owns 50% of the market cap in total value locked. When you see APIs that are showing value lock, I think value lock has a great indication of interest of having community that's the biggest key if you're going to have a token and it's going to live is ethereum the cheapest is it the best technology no but because of the community no. behind it it has a lot of you know applications built on top of it so the total value lock that is showing on ultron i 100 percent believe it's a good thing to div diversify into locking it for five years you know, the coin could be decimated during the bear market. You can't say that that coin's going to, you know, be a bad investment, um, you know, long term, because if you wait, crypto shows there's a four year cycle every single four years. So anything that gets decimated definitely comes back as long as there's community behind it. And just for my knowledge, because I don't know anything about crypto, I just don't like the Ponzi scheme side of it. And I'm not saying this is, but is this, this crypto coin actually on a real exchange like Binance and you can trade it and move it to usdt if you want and all that is that is that right was it a token i didn't yes it's on it's on it's on uniswap it's on uh pancake swap it's on these other swaps and these are just exchanges that are transparent that allow you to be able be able to buy the coin itself right yes but the but you see but crypto in itself but I hear is exactly like stocks time. 90 95 percent of stocks are junk they're ghost shells they have no correlation Absolutely. to anything they can be smashed at any time because of hedge funds and that's why there was this whole short squeeze with gamestop you don't own anything you don't own the stock you own a paper contract and that's what the whole thing with robin hood so it's just a financial instrument you know you have you know stocks being a good chunk of them trash and then the rest of them the five percent they win um, they get smashed Absolutely. down. They get put up. It's artificially up mm -hmm. and down. Same thing in the crypto market. You better stick with oh, the top absolutely. 10 and, yes. and make sure that if you don't know the cycle, it's every four years. It, it, it's a great opportunity. It's a new transition of money. It's called Web 2 to Web 3. 
Everything that is old instrument is transitioning into Web3. If you don't know anything about crypto, it's a great thing to diversify into, but make sure you pull your profits when you're ready because you can't just let it or let it sit for long term and just be aware that there's a four year cycle every four years. Absolutely. And this is what I'm doing. And this is what I'm saying to you is that I'm now sitting with all these promises and everything. And a year later, I'm sitting. I mean, what do you suggest I do in this position? I'm sitting where someone else is it's, holding um, my tokens and they haven't released us, them to me yet. You, you asked a question. That's a good answer. You know, what, what would you advise Anne to do now, mate? What would I advise now? Yeah, and look yes. at Anne's situation. In the I mean, situation, they keep telling me with your with your with your current situation, I actually really don't like that they are kicking you out of group chats when you're asking about your tokens. So that's very concerning to me. Um, op okay. Open 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 transparency. You know that makes me question. Uh, you know the leadership in Mavi that you're involved with, um, because they should be more you know accepting of your concerns. Um, when it comes to Ultron by itself, you know, hundred percent, you know, diversify what you're willing to risk. That's an, anything that you're doing. So at, a, at $800, me personally, I would have let it sit for five years. Um, I obviously I would want to see if I could pull, but knowing that they have the burning staking mechanism written into it, it's probably not the best interest for you to do that. So, uh, I am going to investigate. I am, you know, I'm going to take, you know, your screenshots to, of your account. And I, I want, I want the other guys accounts too, so that I can go to, you know, the people that I know in the leadership and say, Hey, what's up with this? So this is concerning to me um, just to okay. investigate. And like, and like I said, I haven't invested a single dollar into Ultron yet. I just had, you know, they flew me out and I had that opportunity to see firsthand what the project offered. And the thing that was most solidified for me, is seeing total value lock on the DeFi application, DeFiLama.com, where you can just see transparency on all the blockchains because the only ones that are the blue chip technologies are the layer ones. And those are the tables where applications are built on top of. And when you understand that technology, you understand that's what takes an engine from something that can even go from 100 million market cap to a billion market cap to even 100 billion market cap. You need those fundamentals. You need Bitcoin or Ethereum principles. And all that is is software. Crypto is software. You don't even want to call it anything else. If it has the correct yeah. software, yeah. it has the correct protocols yeah. to be, be good. But you, you see, what Thank worries that, me Jack. is if I'm if yeah. I'm having this these issues now after my first year, what problems are we all going to have in four years time? Because I really do believe that, there will be problems for all of us trying Zach, to cash that's, out. Yeah, Zach, that's why that's where I was going with my question is from your outside look into crypto and the MLM into the tech space. You obviously have like a way like you just broke it down. You have a way where you have like a template of like the basic things like am i going to look for this this or that when it comes to the mlm when it comes to the chain when it comes to the actual uh technology that's coming forward with the platform is it layered so i just i invite you for the sake of danny having this uh format like this i invite you to to lay out that knowledge for the you know the whole lay of the land um the way you're dropping it like that is is what people need to hear. It's gold. It really is. So, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, ex exactly. And and mm. these are the things that I've been studying in the past six months. Um, and you know, I mean, have you heard of um, Richard Levin, Richard Hart, and Jack Levin? Richard Hart. Zach. Yes. Uh, Okay, those are the people I follow now. No one else. Those those people know this stuff. Okay, um, but okay. as I say, you know what? I was I was a great believer in Ultron and the project, but just the way that they've been treating people, and I'm just talking about the leaders, right? Because obviously we don't have access to the company. If you have a look at all these socials, all these socials are muted. You cannot. You cannot converse with the company. And that, you know, that's a red flag because when these leaders start shunning you, how do you get to the company? All you can do is write a support ticket, 24 to 48 hours, you get a reply, right? And all they tell you is, yeah, we're working on it. There's a technical issue or there's this or there's that. 
they you 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 know you it's just very frustrating so um and and that is why i got angry today and that's why i got onto the training today with vitally just because i'd had enough and that's why i called out mansa because i've had enough i've had enough of the leaders that treat people like this because you know i've been in a lot of different uh, opportunities and you know what um i certainly don't treat people like this if you if you involve people in an opportunity and you're having an issue it's up to the person that involved you you know to say okay let me motivate your concern for you or your issue or whatever which is what i'm actually doing with this guy now with the 12 and a half thousand hub um you know so um and that's the way you treat people you don't just delete the chat and then block them and tell them you know go look at the videos go do this you know and that's it and that's how they they lead you and tell you so it's 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 literally you know it's 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 turned me right off now i hear what you say about the total value locked but you know to be honest with you it just shows you how good the sales the sales technique is and it's literally all about getting money in the pot everything is a sales it's all about sales um and yes there are direct sales company but it's all about money coming in and and money and and no money going out now saying that if you do introduce people um yes it is a it is a ponzi scheme because they do pay you yeah. on um on the 5 6 levels right uh, i forget how many levels now you earn your commissions that's where i come um, in <laughs> memberships it? that's where i come in the membership yeah. plans i just can't exactly. stand them and, I, and you do get paid and they do pay you they do pay you in usdt right um so yeah no problems there no problems with withdrawals you know with that but uh, but what we are having now is the fact that they've changed the white paper they burning such a lot so that if people do want to cash out of course they're getting what they want the people don't cash out um because you know and now if you mm. get the whole community accumulating all these tokens over the 4 5 year period but i'm very very sorry to say that when people start unlocking their tokens there is no way in hell that they are going to be giving out billions of dollars to people to get their money back for their tokens. I'm sorry from what I've seen and from what I see and the fact is they still have control over our wallets, over our tokens um and just from you know just after the first year having this issue now it's a huge red flag for me. And um to be honest with you if I could go to them now and say okay, I think I've got a total of 65,000 tokens I would say look can I just cash man all out now you can close my account and I'm done with it and that's honestly the way that I feel and you know what I'm um, yeah uh, you know this this far better out there for for me to be buying uh, you know I'm I'm looking at things well, that are going to 100x a thousand x over the next One yeah. to three, four well, years. Zach's got a knowledge, prefer- knowledge there. I mean, obviously you've been burnt with this one. So, um, I mean, I don't want this channel to be a financial advice channel, but I mean, um, as we said earlier no, on, Zach, no, no. Zach, what would you um, like? Is there anything that you would suggest that Anne does next that you might be able to help her? I mean, you've been very brilliant, being in here, offering your, sharing your advice now. Just, yeah, I really appreciate that. I I would just say at the end of the day just make sure you're aware that Mavi is a direct sales company. MLM at the end of the day is a powerful business model. If they successfully pull off being able to incorporate it into blockchain technology, it will revolutionize payment systems. I don't think that it's a scam. I don't think MLM's Ponzi. I understand multi-level marketing. I understand that people understand that to the point where they're getting it like other companies to pay them 27 million dollars to just get a compensation overview to understand what uh uni leg multi leg uh binary structure five level six level infinite payout like that business model is distribution in itself so i don't believe that that's a bad thing i do believe that people use this business model and they do scam people and that's very unfortunate we live in a you mm-hmm. know a yin yang society you got the good and the bad of everything so Um with Mavi, you know, I'm still new to understanding what they are. I don't know if the organization has something that I want to bring to my community per se yet 
because of your concerns that you had. So I'm going to investigate that. But when it comes to crypto, there's still great opportunity right now. We're just about to hit the bull run. And there's plenty of projects, yeah. like you said, H there's plenty that? of projects, yeah. projects, like you said, that have 10x, 100x returns. But you have to know when to pull out. And everything does get decimated once we hit the bull run. So when Bitcoin rises up, and it falls, it will decimate the rest of the market. So you just got to be aware if you're going to put money in, make sure you pull out. So with the bull run Absolutely. thing, um, I'm just curious. Yeah. I just want that, that are you, um, is there signs of a bull run now or is it just because history never repeats itself? There's a four year cycle in crypto in That's Bitcoin yeah. and you can see that. Just, just look at the cycle. Um, look at the returns every four years. Just look up literally what are the annual returns for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the base. If you know Bitcoin rises, I'd say that Bitcoin being that it went to 69,000 at its all time high, it can return there. Yeah. Now my, my forecast, I went and spoke at Bitcoin Magazine. It's a conference here in Miami. Um, they had about 30,000 people. The organization and community behind Bitcoin is so prevalent that the US government has more Bitcoin than any other country. So you just gotta know that countries are owning Bitcoin that it's software that the uh, financial institutions are now recognizing. You can look at financial institutions recognizing it and diversification is the name of the game. Don't put 100% of your eggs in all one basket. If you're going to be doing something, make sure that you find validity and diversification. And that at the end of the day, there's a four-year cycle in crypto. There's a 10 to 12-year cycle in stocks. I personally came up in crypto and I love it. I will always be an advocate of crypto. Now, MLM, oh, that's not too. for the faint of heart. That's... You know, if your channel's about investigating Ponzi's, MLM is, there's plenty of Ponzi's in MLM. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say that there's not, but, you know, finding the business model that's great and then, you know, knowing whether it is and validating if it is or not. Do I know if Mabby's a, a, a crypto Ponzi? I don't think that they're, you know, a crypto Ponzi. I think they're trying to partner with Ultron. And they're trying to make sure whether or not they have something that they can bring to their community because Mavi was around before Ultron. So yeah. I don't think Ultron's a rug pull. I don't think Mavi's a, you know, a Ponzi. I think their community was based off a clothing brand before. It was called the Odds. So they were they were selling clothing and bringing influencers in and um, doing kind of a modeling kind of slash hybrid uh, multi-level marketing with modeling and clothing. So they had a clothing brand. Yeah. I think their new pro their new product is Ultron. And with that, you know, I'm still investigating whether or not, you know, Mavi is, you know, the place to be if they're having concerns like what your concern is, Susan, because yeah. that is that's that's very concerning. You know, I don't I want to see people in my community win and I want to make sure that I'm giving them transparency with what I'm aware of. This is the best conversation yeah. I think we've had for a long time. You, when I've I've been in thousands of Zooms with people who don't even know how to transfer crypto, and they're holding up their cell phone, showing everyone their password as they enter it on the phone, and and I I just beg that those <laughs> people, I just beg that those people Crazy. don't do anything, and they're being held, they're, they're holding their hands as they take their USDT off them, you know, and that's where I don't think this is why knowledge. Well, those is key. are the people I help, Danny. Those are the oh. people I help. We've got a. A training academy, and those are the people that that you know. There's a little small group of us that are actually want to help people like Richard on the call here that really wants to learn and wants to be pointed in the right direction. You know, mm. that's that's what we're doing. Um, and you know, um, to me, there's no other way. I'm I'm a I'm a crypto addict. I love it. <laughs> I'll, I'll it's completely you know, mm. change my life, uh, same as you, Zach. Um, you it's know, I life. love it. Uh, I don't, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and, um, but the thing is I've learned the hard way, but now that I've, you know, now that I've found that honestly, every single opportunity that I've got into, um, and you know what, I thought Marvi was the one that was going to come through for me. Honestly, I really, up until last month, or beginning of August, I thought Marvi's the one. It's going to come through for me. I lost so much, uh, you know, in other projects, and mm. and now Marvi's let me down, and I'm totally disheartened. And it's not like you know what I want to go on there and cry and and done. I've tried oh, to do on. everything discreetly, mm. which is contact the leaders, be decent. I mean, you obviously heard me talking to Vitaly. I wasn't rude to him, was I? Um, you know, I think you I was asked good just questions. trying to. And I, I think you handled yeah. yourself quite well. Uh, better than I would on Ball in the China Shop. 
Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, I wanted to give him, you know, the opportunity just to, you know, explain. And I wanted to tell him, look, this is how your leaders are treating the people. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's just not on. And the fact you see, I think also, um, if I can just say the, 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 the problem with Ultron, and we've always wondered, why are there figures? Now, I know that it, it seems like there's a lot of people in the community, but... They've been driving this for a year and a half, and there should be a lot more. Zach. And I've been told, oh. I've been, is Zach still yeah. there? Yeah, I'm looking at yeah. you. How do you get 6 million followers on your Instagram? Just hang on. Okay, Danny, um, well, go. Okay, and sorry, I got distracted by no, 6 no. million go, followers. Go, go. <laughs> yeah, who are you, Zach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a- I'm a whale in your mix right here. <laughs> That's I, uh, awesome. That's have you got awesome. one of those cars and those girlfriends? Oh, it's good McLaren. Are you married? I, I I'm available, Zach. Things. I'll marry him. Get in line. No, I'm, I'm married. I'm a girl. <laughs> I don't Sorry. need to marry you, Zach, but I would like to invite you back to this conversation on yeah. a, another uh, topic or so, you know, something. Because I'm yep. gaining, I'm learning, I'm advancing, I'm I'm flying. I yeah. saw an eagle earlier. You could be a whale all you want, but I want to gain from the way that you're dropping it is the way I needed it like uh, two months ago. And uh, the way that Susan comes, I've had Jesus. that veracity about being a great person, you know. Um, so, you know, I thank um, uh, Shaney for being here as well. But... Whatever we got to do to to create an invite for uh, for this type of forum, that's yeah. that's my uh, full voucher. So I'm thankful for that. What are you doing yeah, in these people. pictures? I'm looking at your um uh, your photos. Uh, Sorry, Ann. I'm sick of crypto. I'm looking at his Instagram now. But these uh, photos. Oh, show me now. No. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna share your screen, mate. Is it all right? Uh, well, your Instagram is public, so I hope you don't mind. But um, it's uh, you better ask him. You better get his permission, Danny. I you can't think... always trust Danny, no, Zach. I could... no, I'm, I'm a, I'm a public. <laughs> I'm, I put myself public for. Oh, I was going to say for, it's um, your public ear, so I don't know if I'm going to do this justice. Oh, I don't know if I've stuffed it up. Is that you there? Yeah, hold it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to. I can't get behind the screen. You now. sound you sound a lot older than that. Oh, okay. I I am a little older. That's just I have my <laughs> from an easy life. I'll just. Um, I mean, what? Or, or should I say you sound more mature? Well, no. Let me just keep quiet. Yeah. Okay. He's got a nice girlfriend I'll, yeah. ma- I'll marry him. I want the car. Okay. I can't compete. I can't compete with your girlfriend or your wife. No. Uh, <laughs> just drop my YouTube. Yeah. Um, my YouTube in your chat there, mate. It'd be much appreciated. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, Danny, Zach, have you got my number? Did Danny give it to you? He's got a girlfriend. Yeah, I got, how many times do you have to yeah, tell I got you it. that? I got it from the show. No, I won't proposition you. I, I, do you know what? I've resorted to dogs, so you're quite safe. Oh, my God, me. it doesn't sound good, Anne. It does not sound right. <laughs> just like me. Um, just like me. Uh, let me seven, let me put the horn on all y'all. I've got y'all. seven. Oh, that's, uh, that's my truck horn for anybody listening. Uh, in the chat here, he says, too close to the mic. To too the close ass. to the yeah. mic, Richard. Sorry. Too close to the mic. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. How about that? Yep, yeah, that's better. Sorry, so, sorry, talk, sorry, sorry. Mate, mate, you attempted to ask Zach what he looks for in projects, his checklist, but Susan keeps taking over the TGE combo. I wanted to hear what he, he has to say. Uh, so I don't know if that's so already the, been answered or if you want to elaborate on. That. So um, essentially, you can go onto defilama.com, you can go onto coinmarketcap.com, and you can look oh, at okay. metrics that show what the liquidity is behind the project, what kind of what kind of technology is behind this. DeFi is all smart contract, permissionless, non mutable contracts. You can't you can't trust humans you can trust numbers so the reason why crypto has transitioned into DeFi and debanking the bank is so that we can trust a permissionless system if you're looking at 
the 26,000 cryptocurrencies that are in the market, there's 95% of them are trash. So if you're going to be looking at projects, make sure that you're looking at anything that's in the top 10 and top 20, because those are obviously the most prevalent with communities that are driving them to be that high uh, in I've, market. I've got to ask this question for my community. Would you invest in We Are All Satoshi? Was token. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you know that one? What what's that token? Oh my god, you don't even know it. That's even better. Um, there's a there's yep. a Ponzi scheme called We Are All Satoshi, and they're trying to mint and, and burn their own token. We would love to have you look at that one. Um, yeah, if 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 it if it's a token, there's two different awarenesses. There's a token and there's a it's, chain. If it's a blockchain, it's a chain, if it's a token, it's its own. You, it's its own blockchain. It's, it's, it's its own blockchain, and they're minting. On the blockchain, they're minting BTCC blockchain uh, Bitcoin code. It's supposed to be okay, a new so, coin. So, so, if, right. so if, it's a, if it's a chain, if it's a chain, you should be able to validate looking up if it's a chain, because there's only 215 layer ones, and if it's a layer one, that means that it has Ethereum Serenity code which is its security protocol for smart contracts. If you're uh, familiar with Ethereum, Ethereum owns 50% of the DeFi market. So no matter what, if it doesn't have layer one tech, it's not really that valid. Uh, you you got to look at that type of you know awareness. Is the project a token or is it a chain? Because a chain is like a table. It's going to be able to have you know applications built on top of it. Now, are the applications built on top of those chains valid? No, they can also be rugged, but the chain itself is the technology for the applications to be built on. So just just know that even projects like Hyperverse, which was a Ponzi, um, yes. was built on which was built which was built on top of Tron. I'm not laughing at you, sorry. Now, now Tron it's part of itself you know, <laughs> Tron itself didn't go anywhere, but Hyperverse disappeared. Yeah. So the money. Yep. So yeah. th that's one of the biggest things that I'll leave you with because I, I got to go here. Yeah. Um, but because obviously yeah, your so channel is about, about Ponzi's, is there, there, Ponzi's can be built on top of these chains, mm. but the chains themselves are the non mutable uh, transaction bandwidth, which is basically the base layer that is going to be around for a long time. Yeah. I right, get that. Right. I've always said I quite like crypto, but I just don't understand it, and I've got no money to invest. But I, I've just, I've literally had people ring me up telling me they've lost five million dollars in, um, in Hyperverse, and and people have actually taken their own lives and all sorts of shit. So that's what I'm all about. But I, I just want to say, Zach, you're awesome. Thank you for coming in here. Um, you're the quality of, uh, you're the brain that we want to have, ask questions to. So if you can reach out to me somehow, and so I could pick your brain one other day, that'd be awesome. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Zach. Uh, and Zach, how do I get in touch with you with this? Got a girlfriend. In. <laughs> no, I'm going to send you a text about my Zach. Yeah. Pardon? He's got my number, so he can ping it back and forth. Okay. And can do Has that, he got so. your number? Okay, oh, great. Well, it's in the okay. chat, Zach. But Danny, uh, dehick.com, you'll find my site. It's actually going to pop up on the screen if you go back to where you found us. But no, it's brilliant, mate. That's good stuff. That's what Thank it's all about, think. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Wow. What do you think about that Is then? Um, now, yeah, I, I yeah. don't know Mickey. Uh, Mickey, have you been um, – he's gone as well, is it? No. Mickey's yeah. gone. That's all right. And Andrew, I don't know you either, so um, – um, but welcome. Um, all right, I might go get a couple more hours sleep because um, I didn't get money last yeah, night. Yeah, Sam, it's early for you. Thanks, mm. Danny. Appreciate. No, that's all right. Thanks, that was Danny. Quite good. I missed the show, Sorry. so I'll go back. Let's I'm let's gonna, see what happens. I'm going to be a bit naughty and keep this live going, and then go crash a few Zoom meetings and cause some havoc. So I might have to change back to to D because no, she's. I've got to go as well. I'm on the right. Not a crypt, not a crypto one. I have. Yeah. Are oh, you not? Um, are you not going to start a new, a new one, Danny? No. A new what? No. Uh, no. I'm just going to. I sort of like to um, crash a few Zoom meetings and um, um, 
uh, along the way, you see. So I'll go back to D's. I don't even know how to spell D's name now. Is it D E E? Yep, and then D E E. And what's your last name? Okay. O- yep. Okay. E H. Oh, I did have it right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Shall no. I stay on the line with you and follow you into your zooms? Oh well, if you go back to the um the live, uh, just came to get Richard to ask Zach his question. Oh, okay, that's brilliant. So we, I think we, um, that was um that was real cool. I mean, I'm, I just think that sort of stuff is. Um, if somebody's got that sort of knowledge and have, we've attracted him into the room, that's pretty cool in my eyes. So I'm wrapped with that. Yes, and those are the people that I attract. Yeah, yep. and I've got I've got people like that that I'm working with that I've been learning from, Danny, and that's yep. why I'm learning. You're not converting so, me to crypto yet, yeah. Anne. And I, I'm, I do a thing through Empire Crypto, it's a trading thing, and they do a training, they do training courses. Yeah. So I'm learning a lot more about crypto only because I want to know more about it. Yeah, you need to educate yourself. That's the only way yeah. that you learn. So and I that's why and that's why from what I know, um, yeah, I'm quite happy to get rid of my ULX, you know, mm. despite what anyone says. So yeah. No, good stuff, guys. All right, I'm gonna pull this and thank you everyone. Nice okay. to have everyone in here. So that's I've brilliant. Go, so. All um, right, yeah. you Message me bye. if you find anything exciting. Okay, yep. bye. Nice to chat, see, chat with you. Yeah. Okay, right. then. Bye. See you, everyone. Bye. bye. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I should be going back to bed. It's about 20 to 8 in the morning. Um, a couple of things I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to um, I'm going to leave Zach's uh, Instagram up here while I change the battery in my camera. And then if you want to, you can reach out to him. I'm going to follow him on Instagram. So there's Zach's. I'm just going to leave that up there. Give me um, a minute to change the battery in the camera, and then I'll be back. All right? So I'll leave Zach. Zach was the person that was talking, very knowledgeable, um, claims he's a whale in the industry. He's got 6 million followers, and he just gave us an hour of his time. So you just couldn't pay for that type of stuff. And I presume that's his... um, his cell phone number there, a brain strategist. Uh, that's brilliant. So that's really cool. And um, he's got one of those cool, um, you know, I love connecting with people like this. I mean, and it's good to have another side to uh, what's actually happening here and having other people's perspective on things. I mean, yes, there is, I do bust these Ponzi schemes and I, I've never claimed to be um, a rock star when it comes to understanding crypto. So, but I definitely um, value having people who understand the crypto industry chiming in and giving direction and um, help to people like me and people who are struggling to figure out how to, how to get their crypto thingies. Anyway, I'm going to change that and then I'm just going to crash a few Zoom meetings where, where Ponzi's are happening. But give me a minute. I'll um, make sure I don't stand up in front of the camera because I'm only in my undies. But don't tell everyone that, Danny. All right, uh, changing camera. Oh, let's see if we can do it quickly. Got the camera out, taking the battery out, finding new battery. There it is. Uh, right, and putting camera back. For some reason, when I turn the camera on, I have to turn it off and then on. Wait for it to boot up, and then it boots up incorrectly. And then once it's done that for the first time, I turn it off and then I turn it back on on sure you guys wanted to know this stuff and on and then with a bit of luck i'm back (laughs) how's that all right so now let's have a bit of fun here um we did try ringing uh that guy that tried to spam me before and i think i just got zach's phone number by the look of it oh you're brilliant thank you very much zach i treasure that um i'll add you into my contacts um so Anne, if you want to i can give you his phone number and you can text him um remember he has a girlfriend already <laughs> and zach uh thank you so much really appreciate that coming on there and if you ever want to do a shout out from a youtube channel i've only got five and a half thousand subscribers and i work 80 hours a week and i'm on the bones of my ass so i really appreciate anyone um promoting this channel if you can and please make sure you um subscribe because <laughs> i need your subscription all right, so let's have some fun. Uh, let's go and see if we can gate crash a few uh, Zoom meetings. I will bring up a whole lot of Ponzi schemes Zoom links. So let's bring those up. If I got that open, I have. 
All right, you can see what I've got, hopefully, in the screen. So these are Zoom links to meetings, and I value anyone that's got a Zoom link that takes you into, um, what am I trying to say? A Zoom link that takes you into anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. I'm going to put my filter on, which helps me change the color of the screen when it loads so we are now going into we are all satoshi and normally we will see my boyfriend in there which his name is chavez <laughs> and this is um we are all satoshi and you guys Oops. are there receiving block rewards in btcc got it this, this is the process of so i don't last long in here normally mining. i think they're on to me most of the time but this is Chavez. And then after mining, he thinks he's Jesus Christ. You are BTCC. BTCC that you have mined. BTCC, D, D, D. There is another process to claim what you have mined. So, so there's far. 500. Because, shut up, Chavez. Um, there's 546 people in the Zoom meeting at the moment. And um, this is the most dumbest bullshit that you would ever see. But um, by all means, um, and if Zach, if you're still listening to me, I'm going to give you the Zoom link. You should chime in and listen to this guy talk. This is a Ponzi scheme. Why do you not straight away get the BTCC that you have mined? Sorry. Why can't you get that? See, the B fuel Sorry, that you that. buy, basically, let's say you have brought B fuel. B fuel is also a token. But when you harvest, you burn the beef fuel. You burn the beef fuel. And this mechanism adds this, this value that you burn goes to on-chain liquidity of BTCC. That's why you saw the price from 3 to 15 to 20 to 30 to 35 to 38 to 40 now. And it will be more. It will go to 100, Ooh. 200, in fact, thousands of dollars. Because the cost of harvesting is growing every day. Don't understand this. I have my camera okay? on. <laughs> if you don't want to, do not complicate your brains into it. Let's. Funny thing is, I have my camera on and they've seen me and I'm still in here. So I don't know how long I'll last in here, but this, I always crash this until they kick me out. But ironically, um, uh, we'll just flip through so you can see everyone in these meetings and I'm grabbing all their names because I will name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. Uh, and these guys, um, it's just handy to have all their names. It is just like agriculture. You sow something, after some time you harvest, and when you harvest, the, the plant or the crop that you just... Uh, Let's get this grow going. Big time. In, in grown in your farm in your land you oh. don't sell it to the market you process it you hold for some time and then you sell so right. today I started harvesting let's say I came today I brought a miner Did I you? started harvesting today I thought you were giving them away like their water shovers point four dollars every btcc this is the cost of harvesting regardless of uh the number of miners that i have it is same for everyone how many pages of five thousand dollar miner today? 500 miner 50 dollar miner mm -hmm. the cost of harvesting every btcc today is 40.4 dollars oh my god 40 dollars to have as a coin that's not okay. connected on anything what does this tell me and how will i make that people are stupid that's i harvested one btcc I paid 40.4 and I moved hey, Chavez. another day and today I might ring I'm him. seeing BTCC Let's ring him. 41 Okay, we should find him. But... And the cost of harvesting is also 41 legs. Or let's say cost of harvesting is 40.9. Uh, 
and BTCC is 41. It is showing a little upside in the real time. It may it's shows, you know. Oh, it doesn't work. This BTCC today, I mined one BTCC. The cost of harvesting today, let's say is 40 or 41. I harvested again one BTCC at 41. I did not sell this right now. I did not sell this right now. I did not swap it. And then other day, 42, every BTCC. Let's say the cost of harvesting is 42. I harvested again one BTCC at 42 and I kept it. Today, I ran out of money. This is what I had to put in. Now I have three BTCC and I have no money left. How do I make profit? How do I determine that I'm making profit? Okay. Now that I have three BTCC, one I got at $40, another one I got at $41, third one I got it at $42. It was a privilege to have you. If I will sell profit. one of my BTCC right now, I will receive, it is the fourth day, the cost of harvesting is 43 for every BTCC. So is the value of BTCC, which is 43. I'm telling you <clears throat> on the basis of three days example, it is not necessary right now. It may be a couple of hours of cycle, this cycle, which I'm building, but let me just finish my thing. Okay. So from $40, I harvested one with 41. I harvested one more with 42. I harvested the third one. Now, if I will go ahead and swap or sell, which is the same thing. One of my BTCC that I have right now at, at 40, 41, 42 with one, I will make, if I harvested for 40.4, I will make $2, approximately $2 on one BTCC, right? So how much did I put? 40. How much did I sell for? 42, $2, okay? If it is 10 BTCC, then $20. If it is 100 BTCC, then $200. If it is 2000, 200 BTCC, then, uh, sorry, 200, if, if it is 2000 BTCC or, or 1000 BTCC, then $2,000. If it is 10,000 BTCC, $10,000. Do I hear more? Do I hear more? Do I hear 2000? 2000? Do I hear 2000? Do I hear 3000? Do I hear 3000? Okay. Do we just keep saying numbers? Now, this is like bigger picture of it. Bigger picture. When you harvest big, big. and you make big. All right. right. Okay. All right. So, mm -hmm. Let's say I harvested one and I I booked two two dollars as my profit. Two dollars. And I harvested again for forty three. This is Danny DeHick, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. I got up at two o'clock this morning and then the at the end of the day, postponed. I'm left so with bed what? Two hours. And then I got up again at five o'clock and I've been here ever since. And now I'm this just talking silly and now I'm listening to I sold Hava. Oh. which Hava. I bought Shavas. at 40, Shavas. which I harvested Shavas at 40. Shavas money in my pocket and you take my money. Shut up, Harvest. With the one up, which I got for shut, shut, shut up. <laughs> you are a thieving what? bastard. That's what you are, mate. What I can possibly do today okay. All right. you tell me. is to take that $2 out okay. and swap it and bridge it and take it out. Bridget. That's my upside. Oh, upside. Because regardless of the value no of value. BTCC, you are buying B fuel using USDT. So it is your decision if you want to swap the third day or the fourth day. Did you get that? Or in fact, if you don't even have money to continue one, two, three cycle, 
or six cycles and you keep on average selling it and try to make upside this is just one i'm talking about like multiple if you are not able to do it then do this now we have partial harvest you guys can part harvest at your own desire let's say i mined one btcc at 40 dollars cost of harvesting is 40 and i just have 40 dollars nothing else okay this one btcc i have harvested i've got and then i'm mining every day maybe 41 42 43 44 45 just 46 your details 47 yeah. 48 whatever the price goes whatever the cost of harvesting becomes i don't harvest the other day i don't go ahead and swap at 41 and harvest i won't do that Susan. i will do what i will wait for one two three four five let's say i want to make five dollars on forty dollars that i have put i will harvest the one two three four five sixth day you know how the cost of harvesting that day is 45 dollars you may not be able to harvest all at once but you can partially harvest just one with little money and all these all these btcc that you mine you can harvest later just try to make you can do upside. everything later guys just, just give them your money because if you harvest if you harvest and swap and again harvest and again at harvest. the same time and give more you money. won't be able to see the upside upsides you like just pay to wait hmm? if you can't bring more money to harvest and yeah. increase your harvesting oh, cycle I then see. increase time time with time interval between every harvest that you harvest. do <sighs> if you don't do that you will never be able to book your maximum profit that you want to. Profit. So they are providing financial you want advice, to aren't see, they? If you want to book yourself, I didn't think you're allowed to provide good financial upside, advice unless you're rigid to financial advice. Harvest, wait. Wait. Swap. Swap. Harvest. Harvest. Wait. Swap. Swap. Harvest. Swap. Put your money in. Just do it. Shake it all about. Or and lose if it you it have that kind, mm. that kind of money, Harvest, 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 harvest. And then sell all together when you together. see price all going like now. $10 more. $10 more. Because what risk you Risk $2,000 and make $10. Yes, yes. risk $2,000 and make $10. $10 upgrades, you just need to risk $2,000. 40, 41, 42. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. 44, tired. I need 45, coffee. I need coffee. 46, Give me coffee. Give me coffee. Give me coffee. 49. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'm in I very ideal guys. condition. <laughs> I'm mining just one BTCC every day. Ah. All Give me the information. Average mm. cost of harvesting. Mm. Average cost of harvesting mm. of 40 mm. and 50 would be. What would be the average? Uh, Can anyone 50, just uh, 45, just at a guess. Right now in the chat. 45. Do you want me to go in the chat and say? Hey, um... Shavas, I thought you were smarter than me and you're leaving me in your chat room. Would you know I'm here? 50. When you discover it, you go, I knew he's there all the way Just along. The average. Average. 10. Let's have a look in the chat room, everyone. Here it goes. 45. 45. 45. Here's the chat room. Oops. 45. I'll bring the 45. chat room into the picture. 45.5. Oh, that you're trying to train 45. people. You're so clever. Do I need to do this? Just add 45. and divide with, the, with 10. Look, 40, 50 average you 45. You don't need a rocket degree to figure is that it one 45 out. 45 right? or 45.5? Oh, it's 45. 45. Look, really? Has it, I got one of these. Okay, I, I will do it. that. I will add. <sighs> do you think I should go in the chat room well, and let's put that we're live streaming? 45. So I think I'm going to keep right. this open now. Okay. Okay. Let's say the average cost of harvesting. Every day, 
every day is 45 dollars okay Lisa. and i harvested one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten, ten btcc ten. i have oh everyone's got their hands up so my average accumulation cost is 45 dollars standard what standard do oh, there. of 10 btcc that i harvested every day every day very simple look at this look at it Let look at it make it like look at this. it okay now i believe you can see okay Very good. every day i harvested one btc harvest and i did not what swap serious? i did not sell i did did That's nothing me. i kept on harvesting and i Blue kept it pin. with me even if right. i don't harvest i just mine 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 and do nothing. nothing and partial harvest i can make the same kind of money as this guy is making by okay. harvesting every single day oh really because harvesting okay. has nothing not to deaf, do mate. with We're the value. it's completely different it is the cost that you are paying with time variable that is fixed oh that cannot God. be depreciated that cannot be appreciated uh -huh. with time it right. is the tokenomics tokenomics okay okay so so 45 btcc good took you 10 uh, minutes sorry, to 10 figure BTCC out the average of 14, 45 50. uh you kidding me? Uh, dollars would be 450 <sighs> dollars worth of asset hey, this you... is my average 450 that i paid paid that i paid paid to harvest 10 days one btcc every day okay and right now after 10 days i harvested all or i harvested every day Speak regardless of that fact right now what i am holding is an asset that is fifty dollars right now, fifty dollars, which makes one BTCC, because I'm harvesting the last day at fifty, so that makes my four hundred fifty dollars into five hundred dollars. That gives me fifty dollar upside. Come and join me in the Zoom room. I just put the link in our, our and lot. that is five percent. Five percent. Wait. Wait. Just wait hold more. on here, and then. Let's say you you wait. Let's for say you two mortgage weeks. your mother's house and BTCC. This four hundred fifty dollars that you have put to buy B fuel to harvest to to all the people who were typing in the chat. The B fuel cost is getting high on your face. On your this face. This four hundred fifty dollars that you have brought the. B but the question there, Shav, is is where does the money go for the B fuel? And can you, what are you doing with the money? And why is it so expensive to harvest when Bitcoin itself wasn't that expensive to harvest? Do you know what I'm saying, brother? Brother? Brother from another lover? Much uglier mother, but another brother. $80. $80. Right? Right. That $450 becomes $800. Oh, now you see what can doing. any ROI model, can any Ponzi scheme in this space no turn your 450 dollars into 800 dollars no. in weeks the answer is no they will take your money give you money for 50 days and then they will just you know the the top guys will be paid and then rest this is the difference mm. This is long term. This is sustainable. This is difficult. It is to not sustainable. Don't be so stupid. Literally. It's already fallen you over in the first five months. This is your second run money. at it. This is not as stupid as the things which are flying around in the market. What things? I'm disgusted with the fact that people don't even understand and they just comment. That's me. Learn this. Yep. Understand this synergy make money because many people are making money okay i mean it's good so this is a slow process to learn you know i will repeat this tomorrow as well bring oh, your process. really oh, i'm not going to be here tomorrow mate if you're going to repeat the same shit every day with the same knowledge every day for next 10 days oh regardless of the fact that we introduce the ico or everything this mm -hmm. information has to get into the brains of people and i'm not even ashamed but oh, uh, nice. your mother you know, must be ashamed i'm proud to announce or you know to declare that the stupidest people that yeah. i 
met have understood the concept and they have started making money with it. Oh, uh, really? Are you talking about Carl Miller? If you are not making money as a minor, yeah. You mean as a child? Then learn this. Okay. I don't want to learn. Otherwise, it. too complicated. It hurts my brain. Uh, others will continue to make money and you will be in just oh. dreams about Where's the money for beef you'll go, Chavis? Why don't you The sooner that? you understand, the more you will make. Yeah. That's Because so. every day, the hash every power day. is growing like crazy. Okay. You so guys are selling miners like anything. Yep. Are so you familiar? The price has um, to, you know, If we That's not in my control, not in totally, yeah, in any we're just going to have a small little break That's here as we you show you that there is a you know, cease and desist order. We're just going to go to my YouTube channel, and uh, why are we doing that? that? I'm trying to build will make it stronger, faster, better, efficient. Uh, and just for the record, guys, I actually reported them Very to soon, YouTube uh, for promoting a Ponzi scheme or day after tomorrow. Okay, I reported them to YouTube for running a Ponzi scheme. YouTube have wrote back to me and asked me for the official document that I'm about to show you. So if you go to my YouTube channel and look for this um, post here, where we've had 40 people vote that it is a Ponzi scheme, and I gave this document that you're looking at, which is a cease and desist order from, um, from the state of California. And... I believe uh, that their channel goes offline other, of YouTube. You know, it's going to um, be because I, I have given them will start um, out YouTube really, really this document, so don't worry. and I reckon uh, they'll they'll do it. Learn. But anyway, just, back to you, Shavas. Accustomed to the flow, I have really really good things to bring on. Have you now? Unfortunately, these things are little more complicated than the mining process what well, getting through the so, legal system but anyway ways we will make money while learning it okay. so i'm not uh like quite uh, oh, hi, worried because the whole mining process while it's, we were learning um, it, up you guys were not making money but at the same time Hello, the Carl. future we're going to ring up trainings Carl. would be based on uh you know Based on while learning, you will be able to uh, cash out We're the benefits of what Remember you learn, what you understand, how Carl. to, you know, Context. use the right Carl. knowledge, right information, bit by bit every day. So Carl, this is how we will roll. And let's uh, ring up Cal. Hi, Cal. If you don't understand, if you have questions on the concept, look, oh, Cal's picking up his phone. If you have questions on Hello, what you possibly can make you are not able to make if you are running a very big hash Come on, Carl, power, pick up your phone. then <clears throat> your time is now to make more money because <clears throat> what you are securing is an Send asset him a photo of himself, eh? which will just go people are making a lot of money Message. they are at the same What's time fine? mining they are buying btcc and then they they sell when they see marginal yeah. amount of Profit. Take a photo of Carl. So you can also do that. And okay. I have so now we have a photo a of Carl, time and we send it to Carl. Now let's some look at this it. Industry people are used to have, you know, used to having residual income. Okay, look at your day. phone, Carl. Make that your residual income. Pick up your phone, Just Carl. Buy and sell some BTCC. Do what, some what trading. Your screen. This is not a slate. Right? <clears throat> It is as simple as that. Just buy and sell when you see. The price has gone up, and it has to go. Okay, up. Let's send it to him. It is supposed way. to There go he is. up. Is he looking at his phone? Come on. So every day you can make he money. He loves me, Carl. You just have to strategize it. Carl Miller. Not. It is not easy. It is not a stupid process, and people who will find ring him again. easy ways to make money, they can't survive let's here. Bring him up which again. Which is good. He finds ringing, Carl. So. Pick up your phone, Carl. Okay, shall we take a bunch of questions before we move on to... Carl, wake up, uh, your phone's ringing. This thing. Breakout rooms. Carl's asleep. Oh. Well, he's no fun. So is, uh, you need to make lucky uh, for so that she can create the breakout room. I did, I did. Mm. Okay. Uh, why don't we ring up Tammy? Okay.
Timmy Jackson. Okay, let's take a bunch of questions. Hey, Yunus, how are you? Chavez, how are you? Good, good. Uh, beautiful explanation. Actually, uh, that's why we say to the people, you know, to wait, to harvesting, then wait, then continue to harvesting, and, you know, they understood how, how things go. But my question is right now, it's more mm -hmm. of um, uh, the proof of reserve. We have a conversation in uh, in uh, in the chat, and uh, you know I have a bunch of people right now. They ask me uh, why the Bitcoin and the proof of reserve goes down when the price of Bitcoin goes up. Yes. And now uh, and I want to you know now I want to know uh, if you can explain to us. Let me explain. using an example. By example, before we the the marketing uh, budget for people was run the out, We've got the numbers. The average price of Bitcoin was around twenty five thousand okay, dollars. Okay, okay. Let, let's, let's say somebody at that time bought a subscription for a thousand dollars. Got lucky. Okay. They supposed to be have two uh, two hundred fifty in BTC, in Bitcoin in the proof of reserve. May I correct? Yeah. Let me let yeah. me explain. Okay, let's say you have. Uh, $30,000 in the proof of reserve, okay? And you see one. <clears throat> the value of Bitcoin that you have in the proof of reserve is $30,000 only. Okay. That is not, that has nothing to do with was token. That has nothing to do with anything. Are you gonna that is the that? value That's what, um... that you have as 30% so of what you have made as your income so True. if the value yeah. of bitcoin grows one? of course mm -hmm. the washington the portion of bitcoin that you have in thirty thousand dollars will be washington. one bitcoin and when it is going up more than thirty thousand dollars then the number of bitcoins will be reduced less zero point something right not not just one so exactly is, in this case they won't be in bitcoin they will be in usdt then Yes, USDT. It is USDT only. It USDT. is US dollars. The value. Okay, you, but how can do you show in Bitcoin? Because it's it is connected with the with the API where the real value of BTCC is also displayed. Just to just to show you, but the real well, value. Let, let's mm. let's say let's say, you know, uh, somebody have a uh, twenty five thousand before the marketing budget runs out. That mm -hmm. means they have one Bitcoin in, you know, I was talking about two months ago. No, no, no. The, let's, the, let's, 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 let's wait to the Bitcoin have a hundred thousand dollars. Then when the Bitcoin have a have hundred thousand dollars, they don't have one Bitcoin. They actually have a uh, 25% of the value of the Bitcoin. No. In Bitcoin, in the proof of reserve. No, no, that's. But this is the, the, the logic behind you. What you say to me. No. You you understand it incorrectly. Okay. Okay. Show me how's the correct way to understand. Good okay. boy. So Good question. that is different thing. Your proof of reserve, that is your proof of reserve contribution. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is in US dollars, that is in contribution. But the money, I know where your mind is going, the one X, right? Your one yeah, X. Yeah, exactly. Because if we I mean, arrive to a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, then the one X is covered. But if in that in that uh, way my that you brother, show is that cover, my dear brother Eunice, will you? Oh, he's being so condescending now. Okay. Of course, of course. I, sorry, man. Sorry. Go ahead. So your mind is going towards the one X, which is again the tokenomics behind was token. That is why you got two X was token, so that you can claim what you have. In the so the value of was token will determine your one x. Let's say Bitcoin grows at hundred thousand dollars. So that thirty percent that you have fixed in US dollar that that you have will be given to you in 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 the value against you against was token, not the value in USDT that you hold. Not the value of uh, the, the Bitcoin contribution that you have in the proof of reserve, regardless yeah, of. But the, but the value should be on the was token. Should be uh, how many was token is in circulation or in hold 
against the proof of reserve in Bitcoin that they should exactly. be given the value. Exactly. And that will determine, let's say you have put uh, $1,000 and you have 2,000 was tokens. If the value against $100,000 of uh, BTC was uh, mm -hmm. token value is 0.5, you you withdraw one thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Okay, I mean, if you understood correctly, Chavez, mm -hmm. uh, the proof of reserve is only the contribution basin is based in USDT. Uh, yes, but the, the was token are uh, against Bitcoin uh, that that is in proof of reserve, no USDT. Am I yes. correct? Not USDT, not USDT. Okay, that that makes sense. That makes sense. That That's is a better explanation. Yeah, that's the tokenomics of WAS tokenomics. Uh, and BTC. And that's why we will have a swappable pair. We will not have uh, WAS token listed on exchange uh, to, to have the volatility because mm -hmm. uh, that way people can lose money. So mm -hmm. there will be just a liquidity pool and swap. You go, you withdraw your money, and you just perfect, perfect. No, better. Uh, I, I understood. I, you know, for a reason, I, I didn't, I understood, I tell you the truth, that uh, whatever is there in so this Bitcoin, has been flagged uh, a to us Ponzi in scheme. Bitcoin. If you search for uh, state of and, California um, business and customer, uh, service, you know, um, you will find and this we, very, you know, um, I, I thought that like it was a Bitcoin order. and the Bitcoin goes up. The proof of reserve, if you want to, it's showing my it should be go, go up, but actually, you can go to here. Is uh, the was token here they actually and find the actual go government up in price in California at the moment of the swap? You and know, the you moment we search, okay, I understood. You search, I, understood. I just uh, I didn't know the mechanic in that, in that way. Perfect. Thank you very much. And then you just okay. go in there Let's, and you type uh, in w -A -A -S. There are so many questions now, and I think we will end up spending two hours here so let's and then divide you can into find the document rooms. here uh how about government that? document telling that people to cease and desist easy promoting and this efficient because it is a we ponzi have Joe, scheme see? we have car yep. we have are you here shivers uh, no i have okay. another and uh, i'm not trying to run away from questions oh, please do not are. take me incorrect uh You're i mean not wrong nice person, uh i will do the training every day now Okay. And why did you? The Where's Timmy gone? Segment of training will remain the same, and then it will add more value to it every day. Okay. But at the same time, I am trying to do what. What I'm trying to do is build an ecosystem around BTCC, and very soon I'm going to announce a very big news to you all. So, this is very crucial time for me. I'm working really, really hard from last eight to ten days in order to get only oh, one thing. Good. That is to maximize the diaspora of mm, I'll get BTCC. Kicked in, yeah. and I literally have <sighs> a very massive thing in my hand now. Oh. So just be happy, remain happy, and happy, happy, consistently happy. harvest and make money every day. Every day. Every day. Because every day. if you are not able to realize your upside. Mm -hmm you are certainly doing something which is not correct. Oh, okay. It is a mechanism You're not paying and be, to make money. Fuel, it is a money-making machine. Speak of you. So, hey, Chavez. make money every day. Make money. And sell miners. Sell Go miners. crazy with it. Get crazy Let's with it. Let's prove everyone wrong. Okay. Let's push BTCC yeah. to 100. Let's do this. And then the amount of BTCC that you are holding, let's say you hold just one, one forty dollars worth of BTCC will become hundred dollars. Okay. And then cash out hundred dollars. Let's work together. Let's push. I'm also doing. I'm going to bring more. Uh, you know, some maybe some promotional offers or something to mm. uh, you know bring no. more and more layers. You're gonna pay fifty thousand dollars to influencers, plan, will you? Which will make it better and better, better and better. But at the same time, my entire focus is to make sure, make it very strong and give it more strength. Because your experience as a community has not been good. I know that. I mean, so, so I have to be very sensitive. I cannot just bring another ROI or Ponzi for you guys. Here you go. 
make 2%. No, oh, you're changing your I ways. <laughs> make 3%. I cannot do that. So what I'm trying to do is to filter out things and bring it wisely oh. for you because the BTC cease and desist order must be getting is, to you. Is something where you can, you know, establish your home. You can find your home and just stay here and continue to make an income which stays with you like a legacy. You buying a miner is just like buying a business. Right. And you will get back your investment okay. when the proof of reserve is you your promising and note. 3% every month on the proof of reserve. Okay. Where do you get that? Nowhere. On a legitimate platform. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Chavez. David. Chavez. Mm -hmm. I can't. No one can share screen in the screen in the breakout room. L uh, lucky controls everything. I will do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Thanks, Joe. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Thanks very much. Yeah. Let's go to the breakout Thank you, rooms David, for looking after my good. room. I cannot make you co-host again. I'm now. I'm. 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 Li I'm a participant now. I'm not even co-host. So I'm going. <laughs> Bye. Take care of yourself. All right, fellas. Bye. See you all tomorrow. And the US prime time. I will come to US prime time today. Do the same training all over again. Thank you, Chavez. Thank you, Chavez. Thank you, God. Okay. Oh, Thank you, God. Okay. Hey, gorgeous. I've got to be respectful to women, you see. Because apparently I call I'm Timmy. For my room, uh... Timmy a bitch. Lucky. David? Yes. Is there... Uh, let me send you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> send me to my room. Yes. I need to help Harvest, please. Okay, I see. Yeah, let's see if I can get my live video. Okay, and crypto tech. I need to make you a co-host. Here we go. Done. I've got to get kicked Didn't out of here soon, work. so I'm just going to put my link address Everyone in there. Everyone can go to crypto tech's room to. They need help with harvesting. So Afro, Afro, I'll get kicked out now. Just share the uh, YouTube Afro, channel Maliki. link into the main chat room, so somebody will kick me out now. But anyway, then I can go have breakfast you and get ready get for the day. There. Rather than listen to all these people who can't connect their harvest and they can't do this and they can't do that. So any minute now. Come on, kick me out. Put me out of my misery. You can do this. You can do this. Kick me out. Kick D out. That's the one you're looking for. D's lot with Pinnaki Nark. Do I not know me who I am? You'll figure it out if I go D. I'm D. Okay, Rajiv. It's Boom. all yours, the main room. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. So since uh, no hands are up, there are no questions. I would suggest that if you have no questions, um, we are all sorted. Go to these uh, breakout rooms because there you will learn a lot of things. You will see the people who are having problems, what are the solutions, so that you will also be ready in future for your team. So you will also know what are the uh, answers to those problems. Jump in the river. So be fuel. I would suggest flow that out you choose your pockets. Uh, no one ha -ha breakout room. Go there. Ever understands. Keep your hand down since you don't I have no problem. Think but learn. What he is, was going to. Uh, I, I, did, it's, I don't it's, think it's he was really, going to really, ask really the question. Nice. That's what Richard really said in the chat room. Oh, I've got a few more people in here now, so I'll do it one more time. I don't. I can't figure out why I haven't been kicked out yet. But anyway, and put me out of my misery. I want to go, go have breakfast. There. I've got another no call problem. in forty minutes. Any, any queries? Any question? Normal questions? Yeah. You can raise your hand. We'll try to answer. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. The, the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Make sure you do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help you. We have insight. influencers come in here, and they give us a whole lot of knowledge about crypto. And good. we've got an influencer who's got 6 million views who's going to do a, um, a, his viewpoint on We Are All Satoshi. 
And also, if you have come from here, you really want to check out this state of California um, thing. Have I been kicked out? I think I might have. No, I'm still here. Uh, you want to go and search the state of California cease and desist letter for We Are All Satoshi because if you are promoting this to your friends and family, you are going to be liable because yeah, there is a cease and desist order served to Sam Lee and the brand We Are All Satoshi. It's a six-page document. It's pretty pretty alarming when you read it. It goes through everything in a fine-tooth cone. Uh, if you go to the government department, the DBPI uh, and search for uh, was like you'll find that so document you so you know it's genuine and, you and this is a very serious thing and I'm naming and shaming anyone I'm running a Ponzi see. scheme or a scam alrighty glad we had that conversation I've had a few people come so um, <sighs> and I'd love a cup of coffee hey, I've unmuted you. Uh, please unmute Deepak Hi, thank you. I don't have the option for my raising hand on my, for some odd reason. Uh, sorry, thank you so much for the opportunity. Rajiv, I just wanted to find out. Um, I'm really waiting. Uh, I purchased two miners on the 11th of October and kept putting tickets through, but it hasn't been resolved to date. So I'm excited to join, you know, get on the journey, but... Uh, oh, don't the, do it, mate. 11th of October, you know, I put whatever I had in about two 50x miners, which was printed. I've seen this guy and then message. I bought two. So, what's his name? 10 DP. Two GTX, ten, two GT 10x miners. D -E. But they went minted from the 11th of October. Deepak. So, let's see him. So, I kept giving tickets through, tickets through. They kept closing the tickets, but nothing's happened to date. So, you know, it's a bit disappointing because I'm like, excited to get but going. They, they, they kept closing the ticket. What was the answer that they gave you? Uh, I'm not uh, sure closing the ticket. The first time they gave me the answer was, uh, your issue will be resolved soon. That was on the um, on the 12th. The same thing they said on the 13th. The same thing they said on the 16th, on the 18th, and on the 25th. So, be bad. Can you um, give me, if you're in the chat, can you put your ticket number and how many miners yeah. you're missing? Please. Two, two. Okay, Just sure. Put it in the chat for me, yeah? Your, um, yeah, most recent ticket number and how many miners? Um, oh, two, 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 seven, eight, four. Ten, two, ten, two, seven, eight, four. GT10X. Mm. I've just sent him the document because I can private. The chat box is open. So I've just told him it's a scam. And I've also sent him the docu the PDF document showing that the government so has made this a scam. Of two, two, seven, eight, four. This is open. It's okay. I'll take that, Rajiv. Take the next question. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Lucky. Uh, yes, Zeke. Oh, hello, Rajiv. Thanks for taking my question. Okay. Um, actually, I wanted to go out to one of the breakout rooms, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, but anyhow, I believe you can answer my question. How do I get it's out a of quick here? One. Okay. Let's see if we can I, save I, him. I have a Z E. Yeah, I harvested only once. So at the moment, I'm not harvesting because I am thinking it doesn't make any difference if I harvest now or if I harvest a hundred days later, for instance. Am I wrong to think that way? Yes, you are wrong. You will never get your money out. It's if one way street. You can harvest after 100 days, you have the capacity to harvest under after 100 days, then you're not wrong because once this uh, is mined, once uh, your BTCC is mined, the cost at which it is mined is fixed. That is not going to increase. The only thing is it is going to remain in your miner and it's not going to be out. If you harvest it, it will come out and remain come in your wallet. Right? It's over there. So I'm if you can harvest this. after 100 days, Great, you will uh, you will have an average uh, cost of harvest 
which just now shares extreme like 40 41 42 43 44 and at the 100 days you will probably uh, sell that at 100 dollars or maybe 150 dollars who knows you get the point so it's great if you can harvest after 100 days it's awesome no problem at yeah all. yeah 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 exactly uh, uh, uh well because i'm thinking um if i'm not going to uh, swap or sell or do anything uh what's the point in harvesting now i can harvest when can i kick that out of here I, minute, yeah. I want to make a sale um yeah. because my btc is not going to go down come on keep me out i've got things to do have, people to see i haven't harvested it it will Absolutely. it will just be yeah yeah no, that, that's fine. Thanks very much. Because I just wanted to make sure that I'm not missing oh. out on anything if I'm not having You are missing out on anything, mate. You're going to no, lose all your money. not missing out on anything. That is the best strategy. Uh, like, uh, you know... Uh, there we go. We got removed. That was about time. All right. So now we'll go into another few. So that was... we. Uh, so t- the guy, look at him. He's disappointed. Uh, anyway, hopefully I got the message out there to a few people that this is the Ponzi scheme. We're going to go to a leaders meeting, have a quick look, see if there's anyone in the leaders meeting. Daily leaders meeting for We Are Satoshi. This is where I found Sam Lee telling everyone that he just creates Ponzi schemes and scams. That's all right. And now we're going to go into here. This is um, this is uh, Smart Steps uh, Zoom meeting. They've always got it open, so I'll go in there and sit there for a wee while and have a wee look. I've only got about another 30 minutes and then we're going to call it quits. When somebody is purchasing a package, 70% goes to the commission structure. Okay. Where you get your 10% in the binary and the magic. 30% goes in a liquidity pool. This is a liquidity pool where BNB has gone inside. So this is smart so steps now, community. When people like you and me are swapping... Bolty to BNB, there is already BNB in this pool. Wow. Yeah. So we are giving the smart contract the Bolty, and the smart contract is giving us the BNB. Right. And the so Bolty this, that this game we here is quite interesting. I'll just bring it up for you. Burnt. But this is called because Smart Steps. It has to be live, reduced right? from the circulating. Now, what supply. they do, I'll so turn this, it down for a bit, wherever it is. Um, right. What they do the is. Um, Oh, God. Would you listen to somebody who has a thumbnail like that? If there is a lot of BNBs there. Okay, so let you and we are get an idea of what they do. I'll bring it up while they're talking the in the background and you can have a look. It's a very simple mathematic. Uh, how many bolties are, uh, are going to be swapped today? Sunday has 10,000. For a start, the app doesn't work because they can't get in the app store. Um, they have membership plans. And you can go to one of my other videos uh, on my YouTube channel. If you go here and you go to the lives, if you go down to, uh, where are we, Smart Steps here. Uh, There's not many followers, but they hang out here all day long. And if you get to this point here, you can actually see the different membership plans that they have. All right. And you can buy 49 to up to a $2,200 package. Yes or no? And then out of that, you get you need to do 25,000 steps a day and you'll get 5,000 tokens. But if you research their tokens, you can actually see their tokens are worth nothing, like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 point nothing. And also there's millions of these tokens. So every time you do 2,500 steps, you get 5,000 tokens that are worthless. So it's like going to the beach and giving somebody a handful of sand and go, here's the tokens. They're just worthless. So this is the scam. So they're actually just selling memberships. So that is a Ponzi scheme. All right. So this is their, their group. So who's that person? Emilda. Emilda. What Emilda. Is yes, yes. Emilda. Emilda. Emilda, you can open your mic. Okay, so she's not opening up her mic, so I don't see her question coming. Hello? Yes, yes, Emilda. Hello. Go ahead and speak, please. Good evening, Mr. Janari. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Emilda. Okay. Please, I'm calling from Nigeria. Oh, my God. Welcome, Nigeria. Yes, my question is, when I created my first wallet... 
now as an affiliate. So I told my younger brother about smart steps. So he picked interest, but it's just that he doesn't have a smartphone. Ooh. So now I called Cryptomas okay. during the Zoom meeting. So he said it's possible for me to create a wallet for him. Mm. Yes. So I create another wallet that's been my been second wallet. That's where you're going yes. wrong. So now when the app is launched, I imported my first wallet. Yes. And you know, they gave duration of 31st December that we should try and mint our abilities before 31st December. Good so my question you. is that, because I've asked my upline, Vcash, oh, the one that referred me, that I should ask the house if it is possible. I want to... No, you start Import the second one. Yes. Uh, uh, you will have help. Emilda, we have an expert here. Oh, an like, expert is uh, a drip under Ivan, pressure. If you Ivan look at the show you how to do it. Uh, definition in the Ivan, can you yes, take yes. this lady, can you take her into a breakout room and help her? Oh, yes, please, please. No. Is it yes. from okay, you can... Yes, yes from Vikash. Vikash is my upline. Uh, Schneider is our upline. Then Vikash yes, is my upline in Nigeria. One, I one am. Yes, the the yes. Okay, okay. Oh, they saw me there. <laughs> they get to know me, so that's cool. All right, so that's my daily visit to um, Smart Steps, which is, I think, the platform's ran with Sam Lee software again. Uh, so what have we got here? Let's have a look. Open the Zoom meetings. Uh, so that's Stable Dale's room. I might just about get rid of that one. They look like they're dead. Now, Wee Wee Satosh, uh, Wee Wee Global, which has been rebranded to um, the blockchain era, um, they, uh, I've never actually managed to find anyone in this room, but they are also running on Sam Lee's platform. So this is um, Diego's um, personal uh, meeting room, which one day I'm going to love it when I get in here. Hey, should we go see uh, Gobi? We'll go visit Gobi. We got in here the other day. We'll just sit in here and see what he thinks. Um, when you're setting up Zoom meetings, you can have a choice whether you have your camera, people's camera automatically go on when they enter the room, which I think is quite a hard case. So this is Gobi. Gobi loves me at the moment because he thinks I've stabbed him in the back because I called him promoting a Ponzi scheme to his, um, his community the other day after telling me he's going to help his community to get their money back. All he did is come up with a Ponzi scheme. Uh, and um, and pushed him into another Ponzi scheme. And what he's trying to do, because he says he's got no money in it, he's getting a referral fees, he's telling me the other day that his crypto has gone up by 300% in a short period of time. So obviously by getting everyone to sign up for uh, this crypto opportunity, it's going to, um, he thinks, um, oh, can you guys hear me? I don't know if you can. Um, I'm just curious because I had something on the screen then. You might not be able to hear me there for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, this, this is Gobi's room. And Gobi's uh, trying to manipulate the um, hit the price of his token. And that, that's what he's doing. But in, obviously he's not there at the moment. So now we're going to go to um, Marcus Davis' room, which is the guy that was trying to provide a safe haven to every hyperverse person that lost their money under his leadership. So let's see if he's in there. Doesn't seem to be. What about Joe's room? Joe and Carl run their own breakout rooms. I know there we are Satoshi meetings on at the moment, but you never know. We might be able to get into their room. I don't know why they'd have it going at the moment, but let's find out. I didn't see Joe here, but I did see Carl. So this is Joe's private meeting room. It's brilliant. Waiting for him to come along. Nothing's happening there. So now we're going to go into... Uh, we're in that meeting. We're going to go to the Indian community. So this is where uh, Shavas might be again because he goes back and forth. He might be giving the... Um, oh, no, it's Lucky Queen. Oh, so she's in there. But that's uh, that's like Joe's room and then that's Lucky Queen. She's actually in the meeting, so she won't be there. Stable Deo and Vend. Well, let's go visit um, Summer, Summer Vu. My Summer Vu. She'll be running a meeting. I went in here last night and actually managed to get Sam Lee in here. And I was yelling out, this is a scam. This is a scam. That was a lot of fun. Nope, that's not there. They change that password all the time. Diversal, Pinnicky Nark. Let's go visit him, see if he's working hard today like a beaver. Pinnicky Nark's personal meeting room. Are you in there, Pinnicky? 
are you there? We'll give them a second to clip me in because they don't like people just popping in. They want to approve you along the way. But I'm D, which is his uh, left hand lady. Uh, when I say that, what I've done, my personality on here is actually his, uh, let's say his PA. <laughs> so um, let's see if he lets her in. I did this to Smart Rooms the other day. I dressed up as one of their, uh, when I say dressed up, I updated my profile to the same name as one of their leaders. And when we went in there, they made me co-host. And then the person that made me co-host disappeared. So then I broadcasted my video in, in their meeting in real time. That was the funniest thing I've done for a while. Alrighty, we're getting pretty boring, um, so we just go a few. Oh, we couldn't hear me. You can hear me now, though, eh? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, because I had um, something on the on the channel of the uh, on my podcast. I think. Oh, can you still not hear me? I think you can hear me, can't you? I hope you can hear me now. Can ah, all right, okay. we we yeah we can hear you. Okay, cool. That's excellent. Diversal. Nothing happening in Pinnacle Narks room. Let's go to, where are we up to? Pinnacle Nark, Anzac Room. Oh, we'll give it a give it a go. Anzac Room, that's the Australians. This is the Crypto Whalers Room. This is where they. one of them people does actually look like they are a, a whale. We are Satoshi Aussie Room, Presentation and Training Room. This is where... So if you're wondering what I'm doing, why we're waiting for this, if you went to Millinote, which is where I keep my database, I actually am asking people for information i'm not just doing this for the hell of it i actually built a database up on everybody so carl miller is on the doll so i've reported him to the um to the government because they're paying his doll and we had his pay slip up so that was something i i got some information so if you want to give me information you can literally go to my website and uh, supply it to me anonymously and that'd be cool um and i don't i think we're running low on on places to go now i think this is Ven's room. This was on yesterday. Let's see if this is on. And diamonds are making. Yep. So this is summer May summer Vu's room. Uh, and whoops, I'm just getting this right. Doesn't look like she's there. And that's where I crashed into Sam. Oh, we're getting down to the last two guys. They're all busy. Oh. So this is um, the union one, which is really interesting. Um, but they're not there either by the look of it. And then one last one. So any of these Zoom links that you see me, please do give them to me. If you've got a, um, if you're in a Telegram group and people are giving you links to Zooms, I want them because I want to crash them. I want to find out whether so that we started this video today and we were figuring out whether Ultron was a scam or a Ponzi scheme. And for me, it, was, it wasn't it was unconclusive, actually. It was probably probably isn't a scam as such. And we did have Zach come in here and give us some really good knowledge. Um, but I'm not endorsing. I'm not looking for opportunities to invest. I, I believe putting your money in the bank. I'm not into this crypto stuff. Um, but I do have a lot of respect for the technology behind it. But I don't have any respect for people who are promoting these Ponzi schemes and getting large commissions. I don't have any respect for anyone that's asking you to stake your investment for five years because I get people every day telling me they've lost all their money. All right, so what I'm going to do, there's nothing here. There's All those Zooms are done. I'm just going to shut down my windows. I did get a gentleman uh, contact to me today who just turned up on WhatsApp, sent me a link to a what looked like a WordPress website telling me um, I should um, invest in this. And he was a financial advisor. I tracked him back to his company where he works and I gave him a ring and he um, wouldn't answer my call. But I'm going to, might give him another ring now. Um, Zach was the guy that turned up in our, our room and he gave us some uh, really awesome knowledge. Uh, so he's um, he was brilliant actually. It was really really cool. So go and join his Instagram, and hopefully uh, he might do a shout out for us. Um, but yeah, he really knew his stuff, man. He was really cool. So um, he's uh, a crypto whaler, as they say. Um, his knowledge was just incredible, and he's got a nice car and a nice girlfriend as well. So that's pretty cool. But that's his um, Instagram. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. So, yeah, so, no, we really got some wisdom from him. He really knew his shit. He actually sounded a lot older um, than he was. 
Um, I believe he might be a model. I could be wrong, but he's got six abs. Uh, mate, a bit of advice. I've got one ab. It's a lot easier maintenance. You don't have to look after six of them. You just have to look after one of them. <laughs> ah, good stuff. It was a privilege to have him on the show. That was amazing. So it's pretty cool. So what did I want to do? I wanted to go to Millinote. And I want to show you my database, and we will do one last phone call. I'm just going to get rid of some clutter on my screen. Millinote is where I have my database of people. So if that loads in a second. Uh, Millinote, come on. Now, interesting enough, John and Sam, he was actually on um, that guy's contacts. I caught that in my eye. It was unreal. So these are the people of interest who I've seen actively promoting these Ponzi schemes or a scam. And today I met this guy and he sent me a message. And the message he sent me was basically um, this. Uh, let's see if the computer will work this time. We'd love to go straight up without wasting much of your time on here. I got a program going on with me and I've thought a long way to vet out this project due to how messy crypto space is and here comes my winning flexed bicep. You know we make living by what we receive, but make a life by what we give. And that keeps me going on the up of crypto space cause I've it to my link tree Christmas tree at the moment and that's why I'm going round and round the world disseminating this program because it's going well for goodness sake and no issues attached on the up of it. HTTPS colon slash slash geniusarbitrage.com ref equals crypto life here's the company's link kindly check it out and you gone see the well stipulations list of investment offers and you gone see that they offer an amazing experience but don't forget to share your opinion with me and you can actually access the company's back office through it right so that wasn't the link it was his affiliate link so when you click on his affiliate link it's called crypto life in case you are um, genius average. Um, you know your affiliate spamming people. I don't think that will be in your terms and conditions. But if you go down, uh, you can read all about it if you want. But straight away, go into plans and you go to crypto asset plans, and you can see that they're offering, um, you know, um, uh, you know, rewards. It's membership. You know, invest ten thousand dollars and get ten percent after eight hours. So you go down to the bottom of this one here and you just go and click on their social media and you can see their social media doesn't work. Um, so now you want to go to, um, let's just even have a look at this. Look at the address. It's an Auckland address. So this has got an Auckland address. I reckon that's dynamically generated because I'm in New Zealand. Uh, so if I went to here and searched for their address, okay, and here it is here, Street View. So theoretically, this is where this company operates out of, even though it's an American company. This is their New Zealand offices. Let's have a look. That looks like an office, doesn't it? No, it's just a random address to give me peace of mind that I'm dealing with a company that's based in New Zealand. I could email this here. I guarantee it will bounce back. So basically, he wants you to deposit now, and guess where that will go? Sign up. And you go to a form, and no doubt, um, it tells you, I already got my upload, it's tracked me, Crypto Life. So then I thought, well, bugger you, mate. Um, so then I did a reverse image look on his uh, photo, and I found him eating a hamburger like he's um, going like a bat out of hell, meat, meatloaf style, Brrr, getting into that. It's all dripping all over the floor. That was exciting. So I went to his, I searched for the image, and then I found his actual LinkedIn account. As I will show you, and um, and then obviously. He's got contact details. So I've contacted his company. Oh, no, he didn't have any contact details. The contact details are in the About Us page. And here's all his About Us information and his license number. So I've reported him for promoting a Ponzi scheme or a scam. Then I went to his um, Facebook page, and I realized he's got a public Facebook page. There's his mug, and there's his phone number. So then I've got that phone number and I've now rung him and I'm about to ring him in a second. And then the next one that I did is I went to his real, fa um, his real Facebook page and here he is. And I've gone through and found his photo again. It could be a, uh, somebody stole my community. And then I've sent a copy of the letter I sent to it in the comments section. So anyway, this guy's a scammer. He also seems to be a, a actual proper registered financial advisor here he is i presume that's his wife uh so he's a legitimate uh advisor 
pushing me into a Ponzi scheme. And you can see I've posted in her comments, so I think that's disgusting. So let's give him a ring. Um, I'm going to find his phone number and ring him. He's on an iPhone, so that's going to be fun. And let's see why he thinks this is a good business opportunity of a lifetime that I need to invest in. So where is he? Uh, let's go here. And hopefully you can hear this at the same time. I may lose the sound. Uh, wouldn't take any financial advice from SAC. Okay, that's interesting. I wouldn't take any financial advice from anyone, to be honest. And I'm not even going to tell you to do your own due diligence. My personal opinion is I don't, um, I'm, not, I'm not giving anyone else my money to invest. I'm not going to give it to any organisation that claims they're going to do something with my money because I, all day long I hear people going, oh, um, oh they said, uh, they, said uh, they were going to do, and all those sort of words. You don't, if you, what I believe, I'm entrepreneurial, I believe you make money by doing a project. Um, right, somebody's pinging me. What the hell's that? Hold up, incoming. Uh, let's go. Crypto, one image. Uh, what's that there? B fuel. Um, B fuel. Don't know. Oh, it's, yeah, no, somebody just sent me a message. 40 cents, $40 to mine a B fuel at the moment. Okay, Richard, let's have a look. Let's ring him on. Let's go video. Let's see what we can ring up Richard and see what if he thinks this is a good idea. Where's your camera? There it is. Look at me. Look at me. Pick out your phone, Richard. Talk to me. Tell me about your Ponzi scheme. That's pretty ugly, isn't it? For a minute there, my hair's all frizzy. I'll just take off a filter. That's better. Oh, come on, Flex. You were keen to sell me your Ponzi scheme, but you won't pick up your phone. What's going on? What's going on, brother? Let's have another go, eh? Um, where's his name again? Uh, what's his name? Flex. Flexy. There he is. Oh, look, video. What's that? FaceTime. Not available. Why is it not ringing on that one? In call. Okay. Boy, there's a big photo of my head, Danny. The same. Can you guys hear me while I'm ringing this guy? Just wondering how good that is. Perhaps I don't need to be that big. We'll leave it there. Come on. Pick up your phone, mate. He's probably watching, actually, because I told him that I was going to go do a live broadcast. All about him. It was quite funny, really. Um, no, one more time. We'll give him a chance. Ring them three times because I know when people call me on WhatsApp. You know, it's just, it's just hard. I've emailed his company anyway. Well, the company he works for and complained about him. Uh, interesting enough, this is his address. We'll leave that ringing. If he comes on the phone, I will uh, bring him around. But yeah, as you know, I'm here to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. So if you have any information on anyone that you've seen in my videos today, please do um, You know, give me information via my website. You can submit it anonymously. I appreciate it. Um, this is actually where this guy's offices are that he works for. So he's a regular, looks like he's a, a financial advisor who's decided to go rogue and promote a Ponzi scheme. Uh, if you've just tuned in, this is the Ponzi scheme. This is the website, and it's offering, um, you can invest with it with crypto, and you can have membership plans, and their website isn't even finished because their Facebook page doesn't work, and that doesn't work. And there was something else. Oh, yeah, the address is a New Zealand address, and there's a house there. <laughs> so this guy's trying to get me to sign up for this so he's just a friggin scammer now he could have had his identity stolen but that's going to be pretty hard because I've rung him on the cell phone number on his website and also I can tell that he's got over 500 connections so it hasn't been set up in 10 minutes also I can see New York Life which is the name of the company that he works for him. and um, I can pretty much guarantee that this guy is probably a regular uh, reg, uh, what do you call it a registered um, financial advisor but he's trying to push me into a Ponzi scheme, which I think, while I know, would not be uh, something he's allowed to do as a financial advisor, um, which is just amazing. He might be an insurance broker. I don't know. But anyway, let's send him a message 
and going, hello, mate, hello, mate, um, give, um, give me a ring, ring about, um, I'll go put it in there, where is it, company, that one there, Give me a ring about this and let's see if he sends me a message. There you go. All right, I think I'm done and dusted. Um, as I said, I have databases on everybody. Um, I want information on these bastards because I'm sick and tired of it. I really am. And if these guys want to support their, their lifestyles by scamming people, so that's the building he works out. It looks like a big flash, quite a big flash building. Well, it might not be. Uh, yep. And that's the real building where he's meant to uh, theoretically be operating as uh, either an insurance or a, um, let's go out in the street, eh? Let's have a look down here. It's always fun doing this, isn't it? Isn't that amazing what you can do that, Steve? At least he's not in Dubai. Oh, it's all cordoned off. Perhaps the police have already cordoned off the streets for you already, mate. Wow, look at that for a car park. Pretty snazzy. All right, so let's get rid of that. Um, the other one you could do if you want. Um, I think I'm logged in. Yeah, I am. So you can come to... Facebook page, and if you click on Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger, you can see I also have a Facebook page. I don't have 6 million followers. Um, maybe I might when um, Zach shares with me, but you can see in here I actually post a lot of content. So by all means, um, go in here. Uh, look, even one of my fans watching my videos on TV. Look at that. That's pretty cool, eh? Um, Danny, we're watching your show, man. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's pretty cool. I got some cool, so some fun stuff in there. I'm building a community as well, so I value having everyone here today. I hate creeps like that. I hate that sort of guy. Um, and um, so that's me. I think I'm done. I think I'm done and dusted. I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning. The meeting was postponed. So then we got back on at 5 o'clock. I think I slept for about two hours. And now I've got a meeting in eight minutes, and I'm hoping that I can rush and have a shower and get dressed, and I've got another meeting with the company. I use a little bit of software. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you this stuff, but let's go. I go to dehick.com, which is my website, uh, and I have a bit of software. When you hold your mouse over um, the Contact Us page, it takes you to my Contact Us page, but if you hold your mouse over it, it also brings up, oh, come on, brings up my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, you may be interested to know that when you're on my website and you click on YouTube, it doesn't take you to YouTube. It keeps you on my website. So the company that provides the the software that enables me to seamlessly embed um, these videos um, are actually going to ring me in eight minutes' time. So um, they sponsor me. I don't pay for the software. It's about $39 a month. Um, but if you go to my Facebook page or my page, it keeps people on your website. And I really like it. So they just want to ask me for some feedback and if I can do anything to improve it. But if you do a, if you do like this, um, then by all means, check it out. And um, it's called Embed Social. So I'll tell them that I've just been talking about. But it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so give it a go. But my, they asked me for some improvements. Um, and I have got a few suggestions for them. All right. As I said... I'm Danny DeHeck, aka the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. I'm not sure if I'll go live tomorrow because I need some sleep. I might get some sleep this afternoon. And also, I do appreciate when people can donate a cup of coffee. It helps keep it all going. I don't get paid for this stuff. I'm trying to make a living out of this stuff. You can subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. It's a dollar a month. Yeah, a dollar a month. If you like my content, do subscribe. By all means, the very minimum, please hit the thumbs up. Um, do provide a comment. Uh, make sure you hit the bell and you'll be notified when new videos come out. I'm also trying a new things where I'm going to stream onto Twitch and also Twitter and Facebook Live all at the same time and just working out how to do that. So that will get us a bigger reach, more people in the chat box. All right, guys, have a good day and I will see you in the next.